what d was talking about last session when I was doing my black magic BS? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, uh, most likely. Uh, Why I'm, is it... I'm recording the video now. Is it that if I manifest superpowers, it's only within the confines of Tabletop Simulator? <laughs> Hello, future me. Yeah, they're still going, aren't they? Until I stop them. <laughs> is it... Oh, for... Keep trying to unhinge them, but people keep moving them, and also, like, every time I click, it's like, oh, you tried to click? No, you didn't. The system I give is up. down. Don't let this stay that system way. is down. down the down, system down, is down. down. <laughs> okay. That is now, you know, safe for all time. <laughs> well, welcome back. We are not live on Twitch. We are just recording. I'm still lazy. I have not updated my Twitch information yet, so... We're not broadcasting. Dirty hackers. Yeah, dirty, dirty hackers. How dare we know how much money Critical Role has made off the masses? Yeah, man, we should be making millions. Seriously, if we could voice act like them and, and put together a coherent game like they do, we might be able to have a chance. We don't, and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's know, start with I'm the a, tutorials. I'm a celebrated <laughs> voice actor. I'll have you know. <laughs> I'm a master of a thousand voices. All of them the same. I have a kazoo. All of them the same. <laughs> I have a fucking suit. Well, I could do a pretty decent hope shot one day, impression. Please, no. <laughs> Blumbles, the Wookiee. He has long pants, don't worry. I'm just thankful the Wookiee wears pants. <laughs> you wear pants? <laughs> the last time we got together, you guys had gotten to a uh, somewhat secret rebel listening post that turned out to be an old Lucre Hulk orb. Indeedly do. Indoodly diddly diddly. And for those of you that have been paying attention to the games that we've played, which, thank you for attempting to pay attention, all one of you. What no? <laughs> I just realized that uh, Bortuna built a smiley face onto the uh, Millennium Falcon in the background up there. Huh? Where? Nope, maybe it was John. It's yellow. Nope, that was me absolutely forever ago. I have been <laughs> framed. <laughs> I, sh I should have done it in green. Yeah, you should have done it in green. Then it did, then we all would have been pointing a finger at uh, at uh, Bortuna there. But well, I've like literally drawn on the back of everyone's car. <laughs> everyone's drawn everywhere in this game. Let's be honest. Yeah, really, really. <laughs> anyway, the last time uh, we played, we got here. There was a human, a, a Cadian, and a Celeste working the consoles and the computer. Uh, apparently this part of the Lucre Hulk, just the uh, the center command ball, had buried itself into an asteroid at, at some point in time in the past. Uh, you guys are currently on the bridge with these three uh, agents, and they've called you here. And that's as far as we got. And we, we also, also saw yeah. trooper armor. Yes, yeah, so that's just fluff. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Did you say the alien was called a Cadian? A Cadian. A Cadian, okay. I'm pretty sure it's Acadian. It may be Arcadian, but I don't think it's Arcadian. Aren't those the ones that are just humans, but with, like, white hair and stuff? Basically. Yeah. Yes. I tap in Acadians, and I get descendants of the French who settled in Acadia between the 17th and 18th centuries. Definitely oh, yeah. not oh, yeah. them. <laughs> French aliens, I knew it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, I see now. They've invited you to take seats while they go about their work. Alright. Mumbles will take a... Sorry. No, no, no. There, there's a few seats, you know, here and there, different consoles and places that... Okay, stop playing with the dice. Uh, I can see it through the table, and I don't know why. And when I click on it, it freaks out. Uh, this and is going to be a gamble. And now you put them 
upon Blumble's <laughs> table. Oh, no. Oh, no. They've been yeeted off the side to uh, sit in orbit, wherever they may be. I, I can see them bouncing They're next around. to me. Yeah, they're, I can see them. They're next to me. Martin has confiscated the toys. <laughs> you guys can't have fun anymore. This is what happens. <laughs> anyway, uh, Blomels will give a passing glance to the uh, armor and, uh, that we saw, the ARC Trooper armor, and uh, have a morose thought about it. Like, uh, it's sad. Nostalgic, but sad. Then he's going to go... Uh, just take a seat, probably uh, watching Chaba and looking at these dudes to make sure they're not nefarious in any way. Now, they seem to be working on uh, a variety of charts. Um, one's handling what looks like long-range scanners. One's handling what looks like a almost like a futuristic switchboard. He's paying attention to communications in the Nautilus area. And nice. the last guy is pretty much running command on it all. Alright. Uh, quick question. How long ago was the Clone Wars? Well, this is... I said, what, about three years? No, about a year after uh, A New Hope? Yeah. About a year after A New Hope. So it's been about 20 years since the end of the Clone Wars? Mm-hmm. 20 years. Okay, so I wouldn't know about that. But uh, I, mean, I guess everybody would know, but you know. Well, everybody knows of the Clone Wars. Everybody knows about the clones and the droids and how the Jedi turned traitors and, you know, tried to murder our beautiful Emperor. Mm. Scott and Hawabli for life. May he reign forever and strong. Yes, yes. The only one here who might have information or more directed first-hand thoughts with the clones would probably be Blumbles if he ever encountered them. I'd say he might have. He didn't really get chummy with them. He probably saw them on occasion. May have had altercations since he was in a gang before. But other than that, he doesn't really. He didn't really have any personal connections with the clones. Were you on World on uh, Kashyyyk when they were having the issues? Uh, no. He was off world. I'd probably say he was around, uh, probably in the, uh, outer rim somewhere. And so, yeah. You wouldn't have been directly involved with the fighting on your home world. You would have had limited exposure to the clones, so. Yeah. <clears throat> but, regardless of all that, uh, a few minutes go by. They're, the three of them are just working away at the consoles, and you guys are more or less just wandering around, looking at the walls, uh, examining the armor, perhaps sitting down. Oh, See, I was going. I was just going to be looking at the armor, grabbing a snack, knowing Bortuna. He's got like a sloppy Joe hot dog or something like that, you know, hidden in his robe. <laughs> Doesn't even wear robes. He just has a robe he carries around with him. It's like one of those terry cloth bathrobes. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need to relax on the jet <laughs> just, just make yourself comfortable puts on a robe <laughs> are these slippers yep. they're, they're tauntaun slippers they're not bunny slippers <laughs> this, this galaxy never heard of a bunny oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> they have bunny people but not actual bunnies it, you know Otherwise, it's like walking around in like little Wookie heads. You know, it's oh, just not no. polite. Companies, you know? Oh god, it's a little kitsch. Yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the human eventually uh, slides away from the console, and he's like, "So, which one of you is, I guess, would be the leader of this outfit?" I pointed Arden. Wait, yeah, I look at Arden. <laughs> uh, really, guys. Come on! Uh, I shift my point to Bortuna. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do the same, but then look back at Arden in just confusion. <laughs> I am. There seems to be some dissension in your ranks. The uh, the Jawa and the Wookie seem confused. We're not exactly the most. Oh, organized. Ignore the Jawa. We just shoot things. 
That's what we do. I point to like me and Blumbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I nod. I caught like every third word from the Wookiee, but the Jawa I'm completely lost on. Don't he says I am most certainly the leader. No, he <laughs> yeah. What well, he said. <laughs> See, he agrees. He's nodding. <laughs> Blumbles just pinches his nose. <laughs> Wookiees do that as a sign of affirmation. <laughs> Roll me a deception Ooh. check. <laughs> Three difficulty. Like, as he says that, you just hear a ping as my hand just hits my helmet. I like to think that one day Arden will summon enough strength that he will, like, blow through his helmet clean. <laughs> With a face palm. Um, let's see, did you have a difficulty? Three. Three? Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a fail and a threat. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah, he he can tell that you know you're not telling the truth. He he like pulls out a data pad and he, you know hits a couple buttons, looks through. Well, the leader of the group would be called Arden, and he'd be human. You don't look human, so I don't think you're Arden. I pull up the helmet, <laughs> just above <laughs> my head. Uh, uh, out. Look, you know you can't trust everything you read on the web, okay? It's not how the... Arden, you just... You can take care of it. Is there a rock? <laughs> okay, never mind. I hold up the taser. Uh, <laughs> there is the... An, uh, there is an old assault rifle sitting there by the armor. Hey, whoa. There it is? Interesting. <laughs> Uh, he, uh, anyway, you were called out here uh, in order to pick up some information on your next job, right? Yes. Well, do you know what we do here? Let's no, we were just told to mid here. Okay. Uh, we weren't really told anything. This is one of the better kept secrets of the rebellion. Um, we've had a couple close calls with some uh, imperial patrols, but thankfully, we've been able to kill all the sensors in time and basically cut the power. So it just looks like we're derelict that's crashed, which honestly is what we are. But this ship, because of its uh, past history has been very good to us and to the rebellion in this section. You guys were called here because we have some information that we need to pass on uh, either to the leadership or for someone to take care of from here. But the point is this is hard copy only. We're not transmitting this across any lines. The fact that we come across this information is incredibly bold of the Empire and incredibly rash of them. So it's either a trap or they're so secured that no one's going to find this information that they pretty much just let it fly. My money's on trap. He whispers uh, to <laughs> uh, Chava. I, I raise I my hand. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of letting it fly, where's the bathroom? This is a Luca Hulk, dude. There are no bathrooms. What? This is a droid ship. Uh. The so bathroom is down a deck and pretty much across from the turbo lift doors. Yeah. Okay. I'll. I'm gonna go. I. I got you. I'll, I'll be right back. Don't. Don't keep them. Don't hold the meeting though. Is I'll, he gonna I'll... have to climb down that ladder, the one that we broke? What is the Chawa saying? <laughs> You know, he was curious if he's gonna climb down. Does Fortuna have to climb down the ladder? I don't know. Is That's he? Only... I just described where it was. It's his call and where he goes with it from that. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, no, code is muted. He he went to the bathroom in real life. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm pretty yeah. sure too. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
if we hear a scream from the hallway, we, we know he went down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was stating, this information is hard copy only. Um, it doesn't leave, you know, your guys' hands. So, now, the question is, are you going to bring this back and quite possibly... Uh, delay whatever resolve we could take care of said situation or are you going to attempt to take care of this situation and we just need to send a correspondence back letting them know that you're on the job hmm Lombo looks to Arden uh so are we supposed to deliver this or what is Pretty the sure. information that you found? Uh, he pulls out uh, another data pad, a separate pad, and this one looks hardy. Um, it's about twice as thick as a standard data pad, about the same size, you know. But it's got like a small hollow projector built into the corner of it. He uh, sets it on a table, uh, hits a couple buttons, and up comes a display. And it shows uh, a star map. Give me just a second. Ooh. It, it's going... I don't... If everybody can uh, kind of come here to the uh, where it says Outer Rim on it. Mm -hmm. It covers the H17, which is where Outer Rim uh, is put, uh, down to K21 covers this little quadrant area. Ooh, very nice. Okay. So literally from outer rim to the bottom right hand corner. Mm-hmm. Now okay. we have information that they are running a set of supplies out through this area. Uh, we've been able to track it down to uh, about Manfa, Saijo area, but from there they go dark. Um, mm. It looks like a very large list of supplies, and what we've been able to cross check uh, against what they have done so far, it looks like they're building a, a fleet of star destroyers almost. Oh, that's not good. Uh, typically, no. But the fact that they're not building it at, like, the Kuat Drive Yards is the reason why this is suspicious. Hmm. Like I said, they're running chatter through here, but it's either, you know, it's purposely broadcast, a.k.a. trap, or they're so confident that nobody in this section gives half a damn that they're just letting it run. It's really hmm. hard to tell from there. But... Whatever they're doing, it's hard to tell if they're nearing completion or not because this has been a fairly steady stream of supplies for about the past year and a half, turns out. Hmm. Do we have any bases of operation in this sector that they may be trying to prepare an ambush for or a bombardment? Uh, we have the beginning of a base on Hoth, but it's still very much uh, being worked on. So as far as we know, it hasn't hit their radar at all for any reason whatsoever. Um, mm. They've been speeding up the development of the base uh, recently, though, after the events of Yavin. Mm. All right, so... Any theories? Oh my Maybe gosh, you should have seen the size of the rat in that bathroom. <laughs> did, did, did you pee on my pet? Why does he keep his pet in the bathroom? That's yeah, where its litter box is. Oh. I tried to scare it off. That would explain why it was not very frightened of me. Did you use the litter box? Was I not supposed to? Ugh. <sighs> 
<laughs> Fumbles his pinches his breath. What? Duty calls. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> Bubbles looks to Arden and uh, the fellow he was talking with. Uh, any theories on why they may be doing this? We'll have to build another super weapon. Eh, it could be. Don't uh, know why they build it out here, though. Well, you'd probably want to build it out of prying eyes, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd say so, but there's not a whole lot of security here. I mean, sure, they're building Star Destroyers, but you think well, they want to build it closer to the Inner Rim. They're the Empire. Do they really need security? Well, after what happened with the Death Star, I'd say they'd want to be on their toes. Well, yeah, but all they'd need probably is maybe one or two Star Destroyers, and there you go. What the heck could... I mean... Uh, That's what happened with half the thing. We really need to figure out what exactly is going on. One of the well, reasons why you guys were contacted and why you were, got, were supplied with a ship was if you decided to take this directly that direction, you might be able to slip in and out depending. We could go recon it. Yeah, we could. It also would have been nice if we brought that Imperial shuttle. May have appeared uh, a little. They may have hailed us down, but I don't know. Okay, I, like I said, I'm only catching like a third of the Wookie here. Did he say something about Imperial shuttle? Yeah, we used to have one of those, and then we don't have it now. Okay, that would not be a good idea. Yeah. Most of the traffic out that direction are, are freighters, and you know. Well, and pilots and whatnot. Very little actual Imperial presence is in that entire sector. Uh, it's one of the reasons why they selected Hoff. All right. Oh, place is freezing. <laughs> You've been there? Yeah, Dad took me there on vacation once. Went to Hoth on a vacation? I think that's more of a punishment for Tuna, not a vacation. Well, they did them on a desert Yeah, that's planet, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roth, or Ryloth is a desert planet. As you guys are talking, you start hearing the Celeste off in the background. You know, I love that, that, that. Uh, the <laughs> human, like, turns and starts listening. Hang on, hang on. All right. He's saying that they're bringing uh, another shipment into that area. It looks like they're going to Manfa. Hmm. Manta? Is that like where the Bothans are from? No, Mantha, not Bantha. Oh! Right, no, Banthas are the big things, aren't they? You mm -hmm. were telling me about them not too long ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Blumbles looks to uh, Arden. So, uh, do we want to split up, take a ship each, and go to Mantha or Saijo? Try and see if we can find anything and uh, try to get in contact by email. That's the best we got right now. Do we find anything or do we want to all go together? Well, Let's see if we all go together. Yeah, the last time we tried to split up, it didn't really work out too well. Well, it worked out well for us. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty nice. Where'd you get that sick hat, by the way? Found it in another ship. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would take us a while to get to Manfa. How long? But we could. Well, you guys are here. Manfa is here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a little while. Your best route, if you were going to go there, would probably be to uh, follow the hyperspace, hyperspace route. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out which hyperspace route it is all of a sudden. It's the one labeled five. It's in red. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. You'll swing past Iriadu and, you know, Rutan. I heard Mustafar's close by. Hmm. Never heard of the place. I've heard Mustafar? it's got bad juju. Hmm. So we're going where now? Uh, we have to go Manfa. around here. Manfa. Yeah. It's 
one way to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why does an Arden just triangulate the position and jump us straight there? You know how hard it is Wait. to do that? Wait, let, let me, no. let me, let me do that, let me do that. You do this? Yes, that's <laughs> exactly what I wanted to do. Clearly, well, we have, you know we how difficult that is and dangerous that is. Not really, no. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. Why is that not a possibility? Like, why can't we just do that? Space is like. What we even could is end up in a like? star. Because <laughs> we could oh, end I up mean, in a star. That's a good point. <laughs> So what you know, those big balls of fire, we could end up in the middle of one if we're not careful. Yeah, that's why hyperspace lanes are charted. Around stars and all that. Someone had to chart them first. You mean to tell me that if we went through a star at hyperspeed, we wouldn't just go through it, not the other side, without any, like, real issue? No. And you jump into hyperspace next to a planet in its gravity field. No, but you'd figure if you're already right. going, then why wouldn't you just pass right through? It's just a ball of hot gas, right? Yeah. I'm catching one half of this argument. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even consider it an argument. It's more just like a query, I suppose. The Jawa wants to know why we can't go through hyperspace through the middle of a star. Uh, things like gravity and the fact that it'll rip you apart and explode the shit. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell them, but... I, I should really talk to a hyperspace physicist about all this. Or <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be the best bet. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Space therapist. Ah. I caught space. No! <laughs> 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 All right, all right. Should we take both ships, or should we just take one of the ships? Cover more ground if we split up, but it's also risky. Well, I mean, I don't think we should split up. I think we should stay together, but we could stay together with both ships and have twice the firepower. Yeah, let's race. You guys would clearly win. We're not very fast. Oh. <laughs> also, Arden's a better pilot. Clearly. That sounds like excuses to me. <laughs> you you, know, you could, like, give Arden the handicap, give him the slower ship. <laughs> Fair enough, but I really don't think he'd let me... Don't get there before them. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, guys. I had, like, a much slower hyperdrive, and I still beat you here. What the heck? No, sorry, we, we stopped and went fishing on Naboo. <laughs> That's in the opposite direction. <laughs> That's why it took us so long. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> okay. Nothing like a Wookiee in its natural habitat. The YT yes. 1300. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It would take a little bit to get over there. But we could scout it out and just see. Yeah. Well, as well, I considering stated, the fact that they don't have a strong presence over there, we don't really have to worry too much about it. But still. Hmm. Well, you scared. I would suggest teams? taking the one. I would suggest us taking the one ship. Yeah. Well, uh, should we uh, reconvene? We can leave the other one here. I don't uh, think we should leave it here. We should probably take it back to the Fultilla. Well, unless you guys really need a ship. Uh, we don't need a ship, and the fact that it would be here would actually cause more uh, uh, attention than not. Yeah. Fultilla it is. I was going to say. We All were right. only expecting one Ooh. ship as it was. Yeah, so were we. I know, I know, I know. Let's just... Take the ship, put it on autopilot into a star. Don't Why? have to jump at once. Uh, to get rid of it, duh. Why would we get rid of the ship? <laughs> yeah, I mean that they bought. 
because we could watch it. We weren't close. expecting to get <laughs> our old ship back. Well, we're not going to send our new ship into a star. <laughs> I'm so confused. Are we talking to which talk? Our, our old ship into the star. You know what? Forget the star idea, okay? Just forget. <laughs> Peed in a litter box and it just got me a little flustered, okay? You did pee in the litter box! <laughs> Why do you have a litter box for a rat? Oh, dude. Why is he clicking in whistling? He wants to know why the rat pees in a litter box! I want to know too! Because I don't want him peeing in the helmets? Ah, uh, you know what? I think that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. Uh... Okay, so we can't leave the ship here. Well, uh, I mean, we could always just fly back to the fleet and just deliver the information. And then we can go from there to figure out what to do. That yeah, is, we could. Are you suggesting we check in with Kyle before we make another move? It would delay the efforts of scouting out, but... We can't uh, leave the ship here, and it would be a terrible idea to split up again. As the Game Master, I will let you know that the fleet was back at Bothwai. You're talking... Bunk. Oh. Yeah. So, if it takes roughly a week to get to Bothwai, it would maybe take you two and a half to get to Mantha from there. Yeah. As opposed to going there from here, it'll, you know, at this point, it'll probably take you about a week. Yeah. You can go straight there. Just giving you all the information you can need. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So, deliver the ship, then go scout. Or go scout, find something out, and then deliver the information. Mm, seems to me like we use less resources if we scout first. That's true. Yes, but we can't leave the ship here. So we'd have to take both ships. Then let's just take both ships. Theoretically, if we wanted, we could just park one on a planet somewhere. And then, you know, come back get it. I was about to suggest that. We could take, uh, I don't know, one of the ships to... Uh, he looks at the map. Uh, maybe Celeste. The know, Celeste that's... picks his head up like, oh? <laughs> <laughs> that's awfully far away. I feel like if we're going to park the ship, we should park it a little closer. Considering port fees are probably really high once we got back to it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I know. said I'm gonna hate it. Uh, <laughs> he says he still has family on Celeste. They might be able to find a place to park it. Free parking! Let's do it. Yeah, well, that is a good point. We're taking this opportunity, or we're gonna try to find a place closer. I vote yes. Sure, why not? I vote yes for what? All right. Uh, the the job. You just hold on until the vote's over. Then I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> so what have we got? Two yeses. I um, I really don't mind whichever way we go. So. Yeah, same for me. Okay, great. So we got one yes and two. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Cup was great. Okay, so I guess that technically means I look to Arden. Okay, so we got one no, and one yes, and two undecided. So mm. I guess we'll have to settle this by thumb wrestling. Come here, Arden. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If Arden didn't vote, and me and Bumbles are both, like, unopposed or abstained, then you win, technically, right? Arden voted with his mind. Oh, well. <laughs> is, is Arden a Jedi? 
uh, no, that's him. And I just point <laughs> at Bumbles. It's like, no, that's him, I think. I don't know. Bumbles How did you become a religious okay. leader? <laughs> I didn't know that Jedi were so hairy. Bumbles just shrugs. <laughs> well, I don't know if he's actually a Jedi, per se, but he does have a lightsaber and can use the Force, so... He's moved stuff with his mind. He's moved me with his mind. But Jawa said he moved him with his mind. (laughs) I missed this. (laughs) (laughs) Clicks and whistles. Whistles and clicks. Uh. Ah. So, we're going to shut off my force powers, or we're going <laughs> to... Well, I guess we can drop off the other ship at Solist. Yeah! If we can. <laughs> and then head over to... Marf. I can't read that. Manfa. 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 It's like Mantha. Bro, I-, I was zoomed out. The N looks like an R. Marfa, so like why'd you Marfa. say that name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't great. help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that, that was perfect. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> uh, but I guess we'll take the blue and then merge over to the yellow. Hurt. These are officially licensed terms, by the way. Yes. Well, I was pointing at the <laughs> yeah. map that Rock, the yeah, line Rocky drew. I'm zoomed in on that area, so yeah, I'm, I'm watching the yellow hand with a pointer just kind of map it, yes. Theoretically, the blue stop, line will we'll stop the solace. Uh, But I don't think we'll lose much time. In fact, it might be quicker doing that. Because uh, taking a hyperspace line is probably faster than going through the back routes. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe. Well, the thing is, the other ship's hyperdrive is a lot slower. You yeah. can you can always slow down the hyperdrive rate. You know, you can. That is true. Run it. You know, less to keep match match pace That's with the I other ship. Though. So. That is true. I, I meant that. Uh, Technically, the route is longer. Yeah. That's what I said. Not necessarily the ships. Uh, well, I was referring to the ships, one ship being slower, but... Yeah. I didn't think... I, I didn't think of, like, I could just throttle the ship and just match hyper space speed. <laughs> I don't see any reason why you could it. That's what I'm yeah, I, I don't see. I don't see any reason either. I just didn't think of it. Uh, if I could screw up the astrogation check and make it take longer to begin with, then. But that's just poor it's mapping. Not, it's. I was about to say it's poor mapping. It, it's not necessarily, you know, uh, a poor piloting job or anything. It's just the fact that uh, you go through and unexpected issues pop up, and you just have to drop out, yeah. remap, and go Slows from there. Down. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, we'll go to Solist. We'll meet at Solist. If our friend here can get us to where we can keep the ship safe. Uh, the Solist is working on a, a separate data pad, and he, oh, oh, he hands it to you. And, you know, it's written in Solist, you know, but, you know, a little translation. Uh, this is Yadi, uh, yeah, his name's going to be Yada Yada. <laughs> Yada, yada. <laughs> hey, this is yada yada. Um, these guys need to uh, park their ship YT-1000 um, for a, a few weeks. Um, they're looking for a buyer for it. They just need a safe place to store it. You know, do it as a favor to me. You know, signed yada yada. Nice. Uh, who are we giving this to? Who's a what's it? Whoever's going to talk to the, the family on Solace, which also has contact information and everything on it. You know. okay. Probably okay. So it does have it. the... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, does any does anybody have 
a dictionary for Sullustin? It. Those guys are speaking words. I always thought they were just mumbling. <laughs> well, I'm thinking he like. He looks at you. Him. He looks at you, Chaba. <laughs> gives you the finger. <laughs> 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 he speaks Java. Okay, that was really funny. I like that guy. <laughs> no, but for real, how are we gonna communicate like with everybody while we're there? Hmm. Well, they can probably understand basic. We can just steal All I have to do is just give, you know, I just gotta go to the location here and then just give them the data pad. Mm, seems too easy, but okay. Uh oh. <laughs> he starts talking a little bit. You know, <laughs> humans like, uh huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's basically saying, you know, show that to. Really? I didn't know you had any brothers. Uh, to his brother. And uh, basically, you just take him back to the YT, uh, the YT-1000. You'll grab the ship from there and, you know, park it, hopefully. How are we going to find his brother? The, he looks at you and kind of cocks the head to the side. The instructions I, are I there. I literally the just hold, I, I hold out the data pad and point at it. <laughs> it's like got a name and address at the top of it. <laughs> oh, I think my internet is dead. Nope, not yet. What? He Who thinks his internet is dead. Uh oh. I can hear him just fine. Oh. Bumbles. He, Bumbles. He's probably on, more so on his end. Oh yep, no, he died! <laughs> Bumbles just falls to the floor. Clear, clear, I'm a medic! <laughs> I was just gonna say, is like Bumbles just kinda just sits there. No, I'm I'm thinking of the first Matrix film when they started disconnecting them, you know? Oh. Not like not like this. And then just slumps. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Ah. My medical expertise saved him. Can you hear us? No, I, I think this is the ghost of Blumbles. <gasps> He's in another reality. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is the ghost of Blumbles past, future, or present. Mm, the ghost of Blumble's tangent. Well, that would be the alternate reality. Hello. Yeah. Welcome back. Hello. Hey, everybody was uh, turning into robots for me. I <laughs> didn't hear anything. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. Internet was spotty. That happens. Wonderful world of technology and all. Yeah. Yep. What was the last thing you heard properly? Uh, well, uh, the last thing I heard was, uh, how are we going to speak to the, uh, to the fellows on that planet if we can't speak the language? And then everything went silent. I was thinking, I was like, hmm. And then, uh, nothing after that. I just heard, boop, eh, er, <laughs> Well, we, we've covered everything. We're actually on Mustafar right now, so. Aw, oh, I missed uh, all, t all three prequel things. Yeah, yeah, you did. We also uh, fought Palapatine. I picked nice. up your lightsaber, and I'm in a saber look with Vader. Clearly, nice. I'm going to lose, but. <laughs> I finally found. I'm giving you time, you, you guys, to run. <laughs> with Sir. <Surd. laughs> nice. <laughs> But yeah, that's all you missed. Nothing major. Sad. Just Emperor Saltine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to where we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else? Hmm. Well... I guess if we're not concerned about talking with anybody and we've got an address, I think we're ready to ship out. Uh, wait, wait, actually. 
Evel almost looks to Arden. Can you ask them if they uh, have any way we can communicate long range without email? Some kind of device? From space, of course, not, you know. Uh. You mean long range communications? Yes. To what end? Maybe we can phone in. Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it. If we get into combat and we phone in with command, that might not be a good idea. Not like Never mind. That. Never mind. Okay. Well, I mean, having long-range communications on the ship would be nice. It would be freaking sick. With. So well, that way it's just like, oh, yeah, hey, Command, how, how is everyone there? How, how are you doing? And then, you know. Well, all technicalities, you do have long-range communications. It just takes a while for the message to get there. Yeah. <laughs> and it could be intercepted, etc. Yeah. That's the problem. Which is the whole reason why they're giving you the yeah. the special data pad, you know, as a hard copy to to, to ferry it, basically. Now, the only thing is, you can... The whole point of this was you can either go to Manfa and gather more information to put onto it about what's going on, what these resources are going towards, or you can bring it back to command and have them figure out what to do from there. But if you do that, then whatever they're doing has more time to do. Yeah. How uh, secure are, like, hollow projections from, like, the handheld units? Um, secure enough. Um, most Imperials um, have somebody on board to be able to crack them if they actually need to, if they know what's, what, that there's a, a message being going out. But considering the fact that they're pretty much the only ones using the hollow channels, they pretty much always know that you know somebody else on it. It's something to be looked at. Ah, uh, Bowie. All right, back with email. We'll park the YT one thousand at Solist, and then just go to Manfa, gather more info, and then return back to the fleet afterwards. Right. Aye, aye. <sighs> well, best of luck to you then. Hey, do you guys think it'd be faster if we use Starbook Messenger instead of email? I don't no. think. I don't yeah. think so. I've never heard of that. Is that something from Ryloth? You don't have a Starbook? <laughs> so get a load of this guy. I thought it was Galaxy Book now. Oh, is it? Yeah, didn't oh. didn't Starbuck get like? I thought it was Sith space. out. What oh. about my galaxy? I won't <laughs> use that anymore. I uh, the human uh, backs away slowly and goes to work on a console again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on we go. I guess down the dangerous ladder. Or we could take the turbo lift, maybe. Hey, could you just pick us up and move us with the force? Uh, maybe. Probably, but it's a little shoddy. Can you lift yourself? Probably not. I don't think so. I mean, Why? I really tried. <sighs> but again, I never really tried, so who knows? Hmm. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> But, uh, Although, what yeah. weapons were there with the Arc Trooper armors? You would have to ask. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> is the armor just sitting in the open? Or is it behind a, like a display or something? No, it, it's not on display. It, it's in an alcove. Nobody's asked about them directly, so it's you know not like any information has really been shared. Um, there's some DC-17 uh, hand blasters, you know, little pistols. Uh, I, what looks like a, 
a sniper rifle almost. There's one of those uh, rotary blaster cannons. And well, it looks like a couple of DC 15s. One's a little shorter than the uh, others. Everybody catch that? Yeah. Okay. Well, is anyone going to ask about it, or am I going to walk over there and get shot at, probably? <laughs> hey, uh, guys, would it be alright if I snag one of the pistols over here? Uh, we kind of keep them as, like, an emergency defense system here for the, uh, here for this place, but, you know, they honestly haven't been used in, since we got here. So, I'm pretty sure that their power cells are depleted. You mind if I take a look at the sniper rifle? Uh, sure. It's kind of hard to use in here, regardless. Yoink. You ever feel like this is a Telltale Games choice, where, like, if we choose to take any of the weapons, they could have used them, and then they die in an attack? The GM <laughs> will remember this. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking about taking every single one of them. I just, just like, hey, can I have a pistol? You know, just take a pistol. So that way, I have a second weapon. <laughs> just a pistol, they, man. They did also say that the power technically better with the better with pistols. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm mostly interested in the sniper rifle due to the uh, modifications that are probably on it. <laughs> Do you even remember what was on it? It wasn't mine, it was John. Exactly. And, uh, John, yeah, I, ha I have the notes for it. I have the notes yeah, for it. Yeah, I know you would. I still have my notes on my character. He pulls out his spectacles and starts flipping through papers. Oh, yes, I have it right here on page 47. <laughs> no, I, I have everybody's sheets saved. So ah. I've still got direct access to them. It's just Whether yeah. or not... The thing is, is like I didn't put the like uh, the weapons on there. I just had the armor, but I have the notes set aside for uh, the one the thing that rifle. you will definitely need to know is that it's cumbersome three. It is a bulky weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's big. <laughs> Yo, she's uh, that's, not, that's not a problem for me. Like I said, I'm I'm not really interested in using it. I could probably I might be, I might fix it and then keep it as sort of a. If I need to kill someone very far away, weapon. Don't you already have one of those? So? <laughs> so? Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just carrying this rifle that's bigger than me. <laughs> Several times, probably bigger than me. <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> I mean, I'd take that thing, but, you know. I'm pointing at the rotary blaster now, but, yeah. Uh, do I need to send Rocky the... Is he actually taking it? Uh, if no one's gonna stop me, yeah. Uh, the Acadian oh. is giving you a dirty look. Uh, what? You said I could look at it. Look with your eyes, not your hands. <laughs> you always actually have eyeballs in their hands, in case you weren't aware. Ooh. Now we're just making shit up. <laughs> How about this? I will trade you a carbine that works for this sniper rifle that doesn't. No, well, it's not the fact that we need a lot of weapons here. It's just the fact that, you know... Finders keepers, huh? I respect that. It, Fine. In a way, it's finders keepers, but two, I mean, these troopers were on board this vessel. We found most of them here up in, you know, the cockpit area. We just kind of kept their stuff with it uh, as a sign of respect. It's like disturbing somebody's grave. They're dead. They don't care. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Jawas don't bury their dead. We have no respect for the dead at all. <laughs> <laughs> or the living, really. Most of the time, we eat our... We eat the people that die. Bumbles just looks at him. What? It's true. 
I'm Nobody sorry. knows anything about Jawa. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I, I, I'm still loving Cody's response, you know, about <laughs> respect or the living. <laughs> it is true, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want me to take it, I'll respect your wishes, but only on the grounds of finders keepers. Well, here here's the thing. I, I I'm more allowing you know John to grab a, a, a pest, one of the DC seventeen hand blasters because there's five of them. You know, <laughs> each yeah. of these was uh, like uh, the main weapon of each of the clone troopers. You know. That was uh, that was incredible. I don't know. But, uh, I, I guess you'd have to ask the owner of the character. Is he disrespecting your grave, John? <laughs> Paul, that's a good question. Is this <laughs> a way to troll Arden in another life? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it disrespect that I would use this weapon to bring uh, bring death to the Empire? We were technically on the side of the Jedi before, you know, this, that was before Order 66, so we died, you know, being allies. Depends. And the Depends. Rebels. Would his ghost have heard the Order 66 order? I, I <laughs> think they were the dead Jedi? long before Order 66. Oh, I know, but would it register on a spiritual level? I fucking hate Jedi. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I don't have to take it because I, I don't even know if any of the modifications <clears throat> even transfer over to my rifle. I could probably fix it though and use it as a rifle or have it as a backup in case my rifle gets shot out of my hand or destroyed again. Or maybe you could sell it. Yeah, or we could sell it. Actually, I don't uh, think the uh, the DC fifteen X had modifications to it. The sniper rifle. I don't think any of our weapons have modifications. We were just really goddamn good with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either way, though. I didn't though, have any mods. I'm pretty sure it did, like, how much damage? Like, 13 or something per shot? Uh, that... it, it has a base damage of 10. That's... I just had... Ri okay, what's your skill in heavy? <laughs> uh, hang on, let me go back to Chaba Shoot. I was looking at crosses. Uh, my skill in heavy is 3. Uh, how many... How three many ranks. you had three ranks? Yeah, I had four. How With four dice? agility. I had oh, four wow. yellow die. Yeah, so yeah. We're about on par. <laughs> so I could technically be about as dangerous and as And I it. had like two or three blue die with it at the same time. Yeah. Which I mean, uh my rifle was technically better for me, probably, because uh, I have a bunch you of. Have intent I would say that if you have intentions, uh, it insults me that if you would have intentions to sell it. I if did it not would actually be used, then it wouldn't really bother me. I did not intend on selling it. I can confirm that much. <laughs> However, I don't really know if. I don't really know how much I would use it either. My weapon effectively has about the same amount of damage, and it, uh... It's not, probably... you know, you can wield yours easier than that one. Yeah. This would be more of a weapon for, uh, Blumbles to wield. Sniper rifle. <laughs> what about me? I can shoot things. Chavo's just like looking in between everyone now. <laughs> uh, if we're worried about being disrespectful to the clones' bodies, we could exhume them and we could bury them in their proper places. You know, like take them whatever they're. Where, where are the clones from? Does anybody know? I have no idea. Well, you can just send them. Send them into a star or something. <laughs> Fascinated with the stars. <laughs> Last week at space worms. This week at stars. Oh, I was on a space worms kick. That's right. <laughs> I need to. Okay, yeah, I need to remember that. The armor for the armor, I would feel the most disrespect. 
towards them if we took it. The weapons... Well, eh? Really, I mean, the only people that could even wear it would be you or maybe Bortuna. And I only say maybe because I don't think he can wear a helmet. He wouldn't be able to wear the helmet. He could cut some holes in the side. <laughs> I think Chabo will put down the rifle. And if he's allowed to, he will grab a pistol because, uh... Uh... I think he lost his... I don't have a Yeah, star. I lost mine too. That's why I want a pistol. I've been looking for a pistol this entire time. <laughs> and I don't have the credits to pay for one, so... I see, uh, I was just like, our trooper... Armor, How do you huh? not have the credits? You should have had a thousand... Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've only got a hundred credits. I don't think that'd really buy me a blaster. So, uh, yeah. Well, I gave you some money back. Why are you broke now? Because I upgraded my armor. <laughs> right. I don't have any credits. Put all mine on food. The hairy man is the richest here. Oh. Yes, yes, he is. How much does Bumbles have? <laughs> 1,623. The big wig, if you will. <laughs> the fat cat, as it were. You're not a cat, you're a Wookiee. <laughs> uh, indeed. I won't say anything if you grab a couple of pistols. That's uh, all I like, want. Like I said, the, the energy packs are depleted, <laughs> so you guys will have to procure something so that they can uh, be used. Real talk, I really was just looking at the sniper rifle for modifications. I really didn't have much of an intention on keeping it. Per se. Believe yeah, it or there's not, no mods on it. And believe it or not, most I think all of the weapons were stock basically. Yeah. yeah. Bro, we're gonna need like an early 2000 cell phone charger to charge these weapons. <laughs> hey, don't worry, we got one. Actually, we have two. <laughs> Have. Yeah, I don't have any notes on like modifications for the web for the sniper rifle. <coughs> that was just a sniper rifle. <laughs> so, um, you guys are gonna have to uh, bust out the note cards because I do not actually have a card for this. Do you remember where they are? Uh, what? These? Yep. Oh yeah. You know, just we'll just I'll have John make one and we copy it. Easier. If it's the same pistol, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the same pistol. All right, so it's a, a DC dash seventeen pistol. I mean, you have access to the sheets or no? Yeah, I, I still have my sheet. I have mine too. Well, just copy Sorry. down the information from there. I mean, it's just DC seventeen accurate one stun setting. Yep. Medium. Range light, damage seven. Range light three. seven, Kruger. Yeah. Just make it simple. Write that information down, copy the card. You guys each have picked up a pistol. Bortuna, do you want a pistol? Break, if everybody else is getting one. Blumbles will abstain. What? I, I could just imagine Bortuna, like, trying to quick draw and, you know, be like a cop. You know, this is freeze! And, you know, aiming down the way. <laughs> <laughs> Try to, uh, like, spin it around my finger. <laughs> like, making that sound with my... Give me mouth. an agility check. <laughs> right, Let's see. Agility, that is uh, four yellow dot. No. <laughs> it is uh, two. Oh, okay. An I didn't know it was so hard to do that. It's an Let's agility see. check. Oh, why do, what am I do, why do I have two? <laughs> what am I doing? Let's see if you're the revolver ocelot. It's a weapon you've never picked up before. Oh. <laughs> you can't get it to spin at all. Man, it, it's can just... I use the light side point? <laughs> <laughs> They're your light side points. I'm not. I'm not the one to tell you how to use them. <laughs> It doesn't matter. No. I just, I, that's two? I, I can just I picture I can just picture John like coming to your house and slapping your hand. 
I need this. I can do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do it. I mean, you literally. <laughs> oh my God. You literally only need one success. I didn't even get to finish the sentence. <laughs> You, oh, you keep trying to spin it, but it just keeps falling, like, no, muzzle down, and you can't, it, no. you can't get it to spin, you can't get it to spin. Eventually, you, oh, just a little bit, but it smacks you in the chin. Oh, <laughs> frick, stupid to, to toss it on the ground and give it a little kick, like, and then I feel bad about it immediately afterward and go after it pick it up. Hang on, I got an idea. And walk over. Hold out your hand. Uh -huh, okay. And I squirt his hand with some WD-40. Okay, now try. <laughs> Why do you just... Why do you have that? I'm a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> this black guy. <laughs> let me, uh... Let me try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fail oh, again? Having oh, a yeah. greasier gun caused it to work. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's just spinning around and around and around, like, look at me go! WD-40 fixes everything. Unless I can't, I can't sport. get it to stop. I gotta get the duct tape. I pull out some duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, give me a mechanics check. Uh, one difficulty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just I think taping this gun to his hand, aren't I? <laughs> I think it's developing its own gravity. It's spinning so fast. <laughs> That's the whole yeah. thing. It's still spinning. <laughs> you say one difficulty? It's fucking duct tape. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. He, all of a sudden, he just <laughs> mid spin. It's stuck pointing at you now. Oh. But it stopped yeah, spinning. Come. Well, I have mixed feelings about this, but thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, you said you know, that these things don't shoot, right? The human is on the comms. I thought you said these were good agents. <laughs> I'm pulling the trigger. See what happens. You know, I could have Stop. Swore. Stop. <laughs> Which trigger are you pulling? <laughs> There's more than one. Well, there's the one strapped to uh, Bortuna's hand. There's the no, one I'm in your hand. trying to pull the trigger. You just said you're pulling the trigger. We were still talking no, about no. Bortuna's gun. No, no, no. I said try pulling the trigger. I was saying that to Bortuna. Chaba was saying. I don't, I'm not trying to pull the trigger. Yeah, he, he said uh, try pulling the trigger. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. To Bortuna. Remember, I the gun is confirm. pointing towards him, so he'd have to push it. <laughs> he'd have to push the trigger. Push well, the trigger. I, uh. Don't. Well, the battery's dead, right? What they said. Well. Give me a ranged uh, light, one difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, P.S. I finished the card. I can't copy it myself, but I do have it. <laughs> I can't believe this is about to happen to me. That is uh, one success and two advantage. I don't know if that's good or bad in this scenario. Oh, no. You push the trigger, you hear it. You hear it. <sighs> ah, so it is dead. Good. Yeah, let me just... Uh, if he had uh, failed, he would have shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start removing the duct tape now. See if it starts spinning again. <laughs> <laughs> We got a perpetual motion DC-17, thank you. <laughs> it's one of a kind. Uh, it hurts when he peels the duct tape off your hand for ah, obvious reasons. Ow. Wait, I thought that I thought that they didn't have hair. Have you ever pulled duct tape off your skin? Yeah, it hurts because of hair, not skin. Damn it, I have unusually hairy easy. hands for a tweet. <laughs> He's got some wookie hair on him. <laughs> He, he was on. holding on. He was holding on to Blumbles' fur last session. <laughs> <laughs> it's spreading like a fungus. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, Blumbles watches his display. Kim, we do the whole fighting the Empire thing now. 
that what we've huh? been doing? I thought we were just blowing things up for fun. <sighs> life dead. That's life dead. Life dead. <laughs> I forgot you. I keep telling you not to worry about that. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second, Blumbles. You could use the force. You just could have stopped it from spinning forever ago. Oh, oh yeah, I could have. No one making it. Spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I could have. <laughs> that I wasn't. Just an, had oh yeah. To lift to get to, to leave. <laughs> that wasn't an. Oh yeah, realization. It's like, oh yeah, I could have. <laughs> I, I, I see. You sneaky trickster, you. That is a good one. I'm just picturing you use the force to keep it spinning now. <laughs> That's my head cannon. He's like got his finger behind his back and he's just twirling it around in a circle. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, good luck to you all. I think you're going to need it. Are you kicking us out? Yes. I got to hit the letterbox again real quick. <laughs> Please use the refresher this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So did you guys install that refresher, or was it already on here? This is a droid ship, right? What's he saying? I'm gone. I said I left, <laughs> I, I left a minute ago. <laughs> I said I'm walking out the door and heading towards the lift and leaving. <laughs> the solo is sitting there going, The human looks at you and slaps you. Never call my wife that again. <laughs> You burned yourself an enemy today, buddy. I said pointing at the solace. <laughs> he, he just has this big shitty grin on his face and waves at you, buddy. Mumbles picks up Chalba before any man alien slaughter can occur, and he goes to the. Come back into the room after everybody's left. Hey, where'd they go? I'm being carried away against my will. Oh. Well. Well, technically, you coming out of the out of the refresher, out of the bathroom, they're stepping off the turbo if you meet each other. Oh, right. Yeah, you said it was down. Wait, Hi, hang guys. On. There was a turbo lift the whole time? Yes. Yes, so we didn't have to get up here. We, does it lead to the ladder of death? or? We yes. had to climb up the ladder, and then we had to get on the turbo lift. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a turbo lift like to the freaking no. hangar bay the whole time. I was like, what? Why did we do no. that? No. In fact, you hear the rings of the ladder as I'm climbing down. <laughs> Isn't the ladder broken, though? Is he aware of this? Is Arden aware the ladder is broken? No. Nope. Okay. Probably not. <laughs> I've got dice here. Just give me half a second. I'm trying to find the right one. The getting very thick. Arden, you just hear the rings. He makes it down fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say... Ah! <laughs> he doesn't even scream as he goes down. He's like, oh, finally. <laughs> sweet, sweet release. <laughs> sweet, sweet release. In his dying moments, Arden closes his eyes, thinks, I'll never have to see Bortuna again. It's wild. <laughs> Did anybody see the robot chicken where Jar Jar came back as a force ghost to Darth Vader? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. That's what happens when Bortuna dies. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh -huh. uh, just as a general question, did we get the data pad that we were supposed to? <laughs> I know the Solus gave me a data pad, but was it the data pad? Was it the no. same? It was a different data pad. Different did data we get pad. the one? I'm, did we get that one? I'm assuming somebody picked it up. Oh, I'm okay. not going to be a dick. <laughs> me! Okay. I have it. <laughs> Hibs. Yeah, we'll let Bortuna have it. Nice. It's in my backpack. <laughs> I didn't even know that guy was married. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's married I... and in the Rebels? Uh, I'm sure there's at least one married. Guys, did, did one of you guys grab the thing? I completely forgot because of your idiocy. Yeah, I got it in my backpack. Hey, at least someone got it. Aren't you the supposed to be the leader? How could you forget something like that? Yeah. I'm already away, heading back <laughs> towards the hangar. I did not hear him. <laughs> he's, not, he's not even listening to us. Look at him. Who's next? You on guys the still gotta clear a ladder. 
All right, Chaba. He takes Chaba down and puts him in front of him. I'm going to lower you down with the force. But I'm going to keep you close to the ladder just in case something happens. You never know. Well, I mean, I could always climb down. I mean, this armor is literally designed for climbing. Yeah, you could do that. You want me to carry you down, Bortuna? With the force? Yeah. I smile and nod like a child. I half expected him to be like, yeah, he jumps down the hole. <laughs> oh, that would have been so much better. <laughs> I wish I While you guys are doing this, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. the... Do I have you to, going... like, pant any words or? Just one second. Uh, are you going down first, Chaba? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> He'll let Chaba go first. I'm going to do some light stretches while I wait. I climbed down the ladder. <laughs> You're fine. You make it to the bottom. It squeaks a little, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, Blumbles uh, positions himself uh, in front of Bortuna, closes his eyes, feels the living force, what little there is on the ship, but he feels the force, and he's going to use... <laughs> He's going to use move on Bortuna. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Alright, let's see what I draw from here. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I have a light side, so that means I can use it. And I expend that light side in order to move a silhouette one object, which is Bortuna. You know, it always, <laughs> I've, I've been trying to go over the rules for figuring out the silhouette size of a person compared to an object at this yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, until I can get the proper classification and rules of this, we're going to say this is allowed. But Okay. Because, honestly, I don't think it should be. Because, you know, I, I think it's meant to be, like, smaller objects. I, I know. You know, the Force is my friend, yada, 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 lift X-Wings. But it's not the point here. <laughs> <laughs> Fortuna, you feel yourself being moved against your will out into space. Not like this outer is... space, but empty void, you know. And all of a sudden, I... you're no longer on the platform. You're hovering in midair. Ah. Uh, huh. You know, I kind of thought this would feel a lot more tingly. I'm not going to lie. I'm not breaking <laughs> your concentration, am I? Blumbles. You see Blumbles, like, grit his teeth a little bit as you talk. I'll take that as a no. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. This is so cool. You should try this sometimes, Bumbles. Uh, well, like, you know, I don't know how that works, but. Are you just he holding him quiet. there? Or are you, like, lowering him down? As he's talking, he's lowering him down. <laughs> oh, whoa. I'm starting to flip. I'm still, Bumbles, I'm starting to flip. He's, <laughs> he about, stays he's about three quarters of the way down when you can feel this is about the limit of your range. And he's upside down. I can't. Blumbles! Help! <laughs> Blumbles, like, with his eyes still closed, like, pulls him up a little bit. Oh. And tries, and tries to ride him up. <laughs> Give me oh. a force die. Roll. Huh? Alright. Back on against the wall. And Dark side. your feeling on him slips. Whoop! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he is through the ladder, though. Yeah. Upside <laughs> down. <laughs> no, he's not upside down. He did try and ride him, which is where the oh. the where this is coming into play. Oh, okay. As he tried to ride him and pull him up, you're about halfway through the maneuver. You're... Fortuna, are you face up or face down? <laughs> I am face... Hold on, let me flip a coin. <laughs> I am face down <laughs> all of a sudden you, like? you feel the force just kind of let go of you You've, you no longer feel its effect on you and you fall <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not a very no. fall far fall it's about a meter and a half yeah I was gonna, that's why my scream was like half a second <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like five feet tops <gasps> oh <laughs> Wind. <laughs> uh, are you all right? I can't breathe. <coughs> yeah, 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 
you're fine. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Blubbles. <laughs> he starts climbing down the ladder. <laughs> Slowly. Oh, Lord. <laughs> As you get about halfway down the ladder, it separates from the wall. Oh, no. Am I lying there? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Can I roll? <laughs> You're face down. Do you know it's coming? Oh, that's right. Wait, can't I hear it, though? <laughs> Red or blue in your favor to hear this happening. Oh, Chaba, don't fail me now, Red. Big money, no whammy. No whammy. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're finally starting to draw a real breath in. Okay. And all of a sudden you hear, watch out! And a Wookiee has fallen on you. <laughs> oh, that was a soft landing. That almost gets up. So, oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Bubbles reaches down and like tries to turn him like turn him face up. Heals him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. He smacks him a little on the face. <laughs> Bubbles, you need a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? Does he need to be resuscitated? Uh, I think he's all right. <laughs> okay, good. Come on, he's gonna lift him up and put him on his feet. I can't believe nothing's broken. Just your pride. Let's not rule anything out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have the data pad? Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, it may have been the hard thing I felt. Ugh. Is it okay? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was my spleen. <laughs> let me let me get out my backpack and check here. Zip, zip, zip. As you pull and root around in your backpack, you pull out two things. You pull out the remains of Patricia. Oh. The hinges snapped. It is in two parts. <laughs> and there's a big crack running through the side. But the data pad's in remarkably good shape. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I promised you I wouldn't cry anymore. The data pad's fine. Let's go. Arden, as you're as you're sitting in the cockpit of the ship, you feel like Fortuna's taking a long time for this. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> it was a ladder. What the heck, man? Uh, I climbed up it and down it perfectly fine. Where are they? It was taking them so long. Yeah, you need to ask that question. And I guess I just <laughs> start up the ship. Bubbles. I'm uh... sure they're fine. Picks up Chava, puts him on his shoulder, and he whispers over, You might want to fix up Patricia. Oh, I'll fix it, don't worry. Alright. <laughs> As the three of you get back to the hangar, you can see <laughs> that the uh, Star Jammer's already warmed up. You know, there, there's some light smoke billowing out from a couple of the ports near the, uh, the landing gears. She's ready to fly. It, it's basically... Arden standing there, you know, tapping the watch, staring at you. <laughs> what took you guys so long? <laughs> oh, Asked my bruised ribs. Physical complications. They fell. Yeah. How did you? How did you fall? Ladder broke. Yeah, ladder broke for me, and uh. Fortuna, let's say, uh... I caught him. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he caught me. For like I missed that? Word. Man. <laughs> this is what happens when you storm off in a huff. 
<laughs> and listen, we're under time constraints. We've already wasted so much time. He did use the force on me, though. That was kind of cool. Although, yeah. my wrist is kind of... Look here, my left wrist is bent a little funny. See? Is that the one you were spinning the pistol with? Yeah. Hmm. I'm about to get that looked at. Oh, I'm just going to kind of try to move it back into place real quick. Ow! <laughs> Need some duct tape on that? No more duct tape, please. No more. It's cruel okay. to the ducks. <laughs> I'll get the ship started. Yeah, let's go do that. Wait, who's going with who? Well, um, we clearly have a dichotomy going on here, so, you know. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, we'll, we'll go in our teams, you know. You go with Arden, I'll go with Chava. So, Team A for Team Arden, and Team B for Team Chava. Blumbles. For Blumbles. At least that's for Blumbles. BC. Team BC. Oh, and Team AB. Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. Very clever. I was wondering if it worked out like that. Yeah, it's wow, wow. It's almost like someone planned it that way. That's kind of crazy. What? I guess I should. Okay, onto the ship. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> Arden hasn't closed the landing ramp at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped my head. Climbed back up the landing ramp and sat back in the chair. By the way, are these are these size differences uh, legitimate? Like, is the y YT one thousand this much smaller than the YT twenty four hundred? That's a very. Good I wouldn't question. be. I wouldn't be surprised if it was because it is an older model. Isn't there a <laughs> silhouette difference? I don't know. It doesn't say on the page. I'll be back. Um, no, they're actually relatively the same size. Okay. Uh, the length of the YT-1000 is 28 meters. The length of the YT-2400 is 21 meters. But we're talking basically the saucer section from here to here compared to here to here. Yeah. So really, they're roughly the same size. Who am I on? Fortuna. Hello. <laughs> That's roughly the same. Yes or no? Cool. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could calculate the surface area if you want me to. I honestly think that's unnecessary. But thank okay. you for the option. <laughs> Seriously. We'll get him next time, Archimedes. We'll get him next time. I just want to build my death laser. <laughs> I'm back. Says the, the Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Everybody gets in the ships. Everybody kind of, you know, backs up and out of the uh, the hangar bay. And as you uh, pull away from the asteroid station... You can see why it's looked over so often by patrols. There's no exterior lights whatsoever. Uh, had it not been for the uh, the homing beacons that had guided you to the hangar bay, mm -hmm. it is easily to have passed over as just another space rock. And now that you're flying away from it, you're noticing that there's no beacon guiding you into the bay again. It looks like it's controlled by whoever's on board. Still the... Alright, gentlemen. Rocky, you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Both of you guys need to give me an astrogation check at two difficulty. Well, I was about to say, like, should I do the astrogation check? Nope. And share it with him? or okay. Nope. All right, two separate checks. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Three success, 
to advantage. You plot yeah. the course uh, from Pax to uh, Low Dark, and then to Indupar, and then to Celeste. You make your calculations and everything. Your computer uh, puts out a time between the various jumps and everything that you're looking at about three days. All things considered. Chaba. Yeah. You put your information into the computer. And it it's, gives you like a busy line from like the old telephones. And doot, 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 doot. Puts out a time of about five days. And then starts activating. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like we're going, Blubbles. Boom. <laughs> As you're sitting there, you know, running your calculations, are and you just see uh, the YT-1000, which now has a wonderful name in your computer, <laughs> the Sultry Shistavenian. Sultry Shistavenian. Wow, that's a hard word for me. The SS Venon. You just see it jump into hyperspace. Ah. Uh. Man, he crunched those numbers fast. I mean, you aren't that fast. You look over his I shoulder just... and everything's <laughs> right there and ready. It's just got the button going. Press me to initiate. <laughs> I just... <laughs> it's like I just push the lever forward. Into hyperspace you go. Oh, never mind. As you guys are traveling, uh, give me, both of you, Bortuna and Arden, perception checks. Four difficult. Holy guacamole. Uh. Oh boy. Did you say four difficulty? You heard me. I, um. Mm. Wait, Art. Oh, never mind. Hey, nice. Oh, never mind. You didn't need it. Okay. Alright, here I go. One success, one advantage. That is uh, hey. one success and two threat. You strain your eyes. As you guys leap into hyperspace, you see the little blip, the shape of the YT-1000, and then it's gone behind you. Oh! Uh. <laughs> That's what it was for! <laughs> oh, I'm sleeping in that's what <laughs> I do. Once you said perception checks, I'm like, we're gonna it's gonna be like the uh space balls, isn't it? We just go flat <laughs> speed. We pass them. We gotta slow down first. <laughs> <laughs> was that the other was was that Ben? Yep. Oh, they got this one back. That other ship's slow. Yeah, that hyperdrive ain't... It'll do, but... Man, it's slow. <laughs> I've got to pat the console. Considering, yeah. considering how... Uh, we might be waiting. Oh. We don't have to wait too long. <gasps> Does that mean we can sightsee? <laughs> it's about... Uh, we'll have to wait, because I have the data pad. It's about a day, and bon and you guys reach Vondark. Boom! A out of hyperspace you come. There's no sign of the YT. There's no sign of the Sultry. At all. Oh, Lord. Man, it's a good thing I stocked up on those hot chocolate pods. Hell yeah, man. We need to get some <laughs> cappuccinos next. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Would you get I a party? See, why do I just see them like roaming about the camp in common area? <laughs> Pretty much. Bumbles. Oh yeah, dude, we're not paying attention at all. <laughs> yes. Give me a red or blue your favor. Oh boy. You know what? <sighs> Let's go blue. Hey, blue. Nice. Uh, as you get to the, the little pod machine making your hot chocolate, you start hearing it kind of sputter and kind of die and then come back and operate normally. Oh, oh 
really worried for a second there. Whew. What happened? Did our curing start to go out? Oh, the uh, pod machine almost went out on me. You might want to take a look at it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take a look at it when we get out of hyperspace. Uh, if it lasts that long. If it, if it kicks out, then I'll take a look at it while we're going through it, but it should be fine. Till then. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the computer, but we've got about five days till we reach uh, our, de our final destination. I oh, wonder how fast it's going to take them to get there. Uh, probably about half that time. Pretty sure the 2400 has a way better hyperdrive than this one. Yeah, this one doesn't seem uh, up to speed, you know? Yeah, she'll get you where you need to go. This takes a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, in the meantime, want to play some cards? Hell yeah! I don't have All any right. money. You guys uh, are, are literally just dicking around for like a day, and you're like, you realize that you're still in hyperspace, and it's like, should we sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Did we sleep while we're in hyperspace? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Should you sleep? I don't know. When, when are you going to get jumped out of hyperspace? <coughs> if you go to sleep in hyperspace, do your dreams catch up with you? Hey. <laughs> are you saying this as if we've been in hyperspace for longer than anticipated? Uh, it's longer than you had anticipated. You didn't get a time frame of how long it was going to be. It just made the calculation and then suddenly jumped. Oh, I thought it said it was going to take like five days. That's true, but how long till your first location, where you start changing your direction and everything? Uh, well, it didn't honestly, give you that. No, it didn't give me that. Uh, I'm just gonna let it do its thing, though. There's no point in trying to stop it or anything. <laughs> so the question is, do you sleep? Probably. We probably like yeah, have shit. Yeah, yeah. If we get tired, I'd say we would definitely sleep. All right. This is going to be a pain in the butt for you. I need you to tell me what is your favorite color, blue or red? Red. It's going to be best two out of three. Okay. Am I am I rolling it? Yes, sir. Okay. Right, right. Ooh, okay. One more. Ah. Oh. Blue. You guys are sound asleep, just kind of snoring away. You guys had a fun-filled day yesterday, and as you sleep, the ship drops out of hyperspace, re changes its course and path, and begins to charge up its hyperdrive again. Arden. <laughs> yeah. Give me a perception check, please. Let's go with two difficulty. Uh, two success. Do you see the sultry pop into the system finally? And you see it start changing its course and, you know, start altering its heading. What do you do? Uh, well, I guess they're just going. So, I'll just go to Solstice, continue his plan, go to Solstice. <laughs> and you see them jump. Womp. They need to try to say hi. Uh, yeah, it's going to take them a minute. You two are literally asleep as you guys dropped out around Vondark and then jump again. <laughs> it's, it's like a five minute lag between dropping and jumping again because of the ship. You guys are... <laughs> oh, man. Sounds like something that would happen to us. Oh, yeah. yeah all right. Okay, all right. That's tracks. How long were me and Fortuna sitting there for? About a, another half a day. Another half day. Yeah, it, 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 it probably, we'll probably be there a day before that. <laughs> Maybe two. And just line up and... You're just sticking with the course that was laid, and you jump into hyperspace, and you go from Von Dark... Through Indupar, basically with no issues, to Solus. And, and you pop out in the system, and, you know, 
all of a sudden through the comm system. <laughs> Hello, 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 hi, hi, this is the Solus traffic control. Um, basic? Yeah, I speak that. Oh, okay. Uh, we were worried that you wouldn't understand the, uh, the Solaston traffic control. It's their planet. You know, most people that come through the system try to speak their language, but it didn't seem like you understood his instructions, so. Well, I picked up a little bit on the way here. Something along the lines of, skiddly doodly bap! <laughs> but I didn't know how that would be. <laughs> I'm not really You hear sure in the background. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're being commanded to pull over and for a full inspection. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, please stop. Please stop that. God, what have you done? Uh, I guess that was bad. You see a stormtrooper with a rubber glove. <laughs> rubber glove over his normal glove yep <laughs> very much so oh man um what can we do for you here on Solus? uh we want to land um any particular we're place passing, we're passing through we're gonna land we're waiting for some friends, and then we'll be leaving shortly after. Okay. Um, avoid any uh, entanglements with the locals. Try not to insult them like your friend did, and uh, you should be fine. Welcome <laughs> to Solace. You know any good food joints? Thank you. You shut up. <laughs> you shush. <laughs> There's a whole planet, and you're asking about one food joints. <laughs> well, you know, we don't have time to search the whole planet. <laughs> I gotta get on the galaxy net and see what kind of places they got nearby. Space Yelp says that Space Denny's is very good on this side of the planet. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Imagine Blumble is just... <laughs> oh, he like looks over at Chavo. He's probably sleeping in the chair. Yeah, he's like kicks the chair a little bit. Yeah, hey, Chavo. Uh, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Still in hyperspace. Oh, I'd say more than likely what happened is uh, we reached the destination of the first stop off point, and the ship automatically went to the second one. I mean, it jumped immediately since I put in the coordinates. I assume it's just a plug and go kind of thing. Uh, yeah, hopefully. I was saying, really, it was just that slow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, we got enough supplies for like two months worth, so it should be fine. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna get some it. breakfast rations Can and, I uh. Said something yeah. about them? <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even think to mention. Oh, they'll figure something out. <laughs> it's not like they're incompetent or anything. You I think the language barrier might be enough. You know, maybe we should call somebody. <laughs> what, Space AAA? <laughs> Do they not have that? It's quadruple A in the future. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'm going to say, with a fact, I'm adding to Star Wars lore right here, right now, because I fucking can. That if you get caught out in the middle of nowhere, run out of, you know, fucking fuel... You can set up a distress beacon, and they will send out basically space AAA. And I'm going to adopt the term from uh, Elite Dangerous. They're called the Space Rats, and they will haul out some fuel to you, and they'll charge the out the ass for it. You know what? I like this, and I don't know why it's not in Star Wars already. Sounds like a good business model too. Act actually, in the actual game Elite Dangerous, they don't take charge for it at all. It's just a kindness service that they run, and they're actual players doing it. Huh, that is pretty nice. They go actually. out and they rescue stranded pilots that have been dumb. Mm -hmm. Basically, what? the whole philosophy is pay it forward. That's cool. It really is. 
We're learning something. Today. But here, we're going to be charged. Yeah, because I'm out an asshole. <laughs> and because... So we're going to be charged out the ass. Yep. Well, fortunately, we shouldn't find ourselves in a situation like that. The fuel uh, runs barring. 50 credits on the planet. Because we have to run it out to you, it's going to be uh, about 10,000. Whoa! Really, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, crunch some numbers here. Click, 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 click. That's insane! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So you guys are in hyperspace for another four days. Woo! Chugging right along. We just play cards and bet with the hot chocolate pods. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder who's winning. Uh, mm. who's got who color? I, I, uh, you know, blue. I'm always red, dude. Yeah, I was, was going to say, say. Roll, roll the chance cube. Exactly. <laughs> let's, let's both roll it at the same time, Rocky. Yeah, let's just do best two out of three. Probably easier. Yeah, that's true. Jabba. You? Oh. Jabba. Uh. Jabba. <laughs> no, no, I need one more roll. Yep, all right. No, that barely flew anywhere. <laughs> oh no! Chaba has all the hot coffee, hot chocolate pods. You lost badly. Uh, uh, damn it! <laughs> On the bright side, uh, I think chocolate is poisonous to me, so I'm not gonna keep these. I'm gonna make a note of that somewhere. <laughs> chocolate. You plan on poisonous. poisoning? I just feel like that's going to be important in the future for some reason. I feel like that was foreshadowing. I just see <laughs> Bortuna whittling down a Toblerone to fit into a freaking hot dog and feeding it to Chaba. <laughs> oh, man. But a Bumbles just grumbles and goes, nah, this has been, I'm, I've been out of practice of space blackjack for a while. Ugh. Yeah, I, mean, I thought we were playing Pinochle. It's been a long <laughs> been a long time since we played any gambling at all for that matter so yeah last time we played sabak on uh, uh what was it? it wasn't tatooine some other desert planet uh i don't even remember it might have been ryloth actually yeah maybe i remember t I was taking a trip there was but anyway Arden. i remember the last time we played sabak it yes. wasn't that pretty give me a xeno a xenology check three <laughs> difficulties He just wrote his oh damn, Jawas do hate chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> just out of nowhere, he just thinks that. He just uh, sends it out. Three loud. difficulty. Three difficulty. The Celeste language is robust and hard to understand. You're having a hard time. Mm. On planet gotcha. with Bortuna who is scatting at the locals who are not happy with him. <laughs> Why is why is this harder than it's like why is this harder than the Java language? Can I do a xenology check? Yes, yes, you may. <laughs> uh, three, like three, three difficulty. Please give him the setback. <laughs> Just don't be mean to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hoping this would. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's set these up in a nice little circle. The world is in balance. Maybe. Wow. Oh, are oh, you yeah. serious? <laughs> are, you? are you serious? <laughs> He's understanding them. He's understanding them for a short amount of time. He's he's getting some basics, you know. He he's got like the basic the Solison dictionary, but it's like four editions <laughs> out of date. So. so they speak to me, and I just like I hold it open. It's like an actual paper book. Yes, it for very some much. Reason. And I'm like licking it, and I'm like thumbing through the pages like super quick. Just <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay. I think. What do I? Okay, I say. Skin and skin. <laughs> <laughs> they slap you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 
I was looking at the kanji gids, not the. Oh, I'm so silly. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, you guys get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Uh, but you have a menu with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, I can read it. What the hell is a tostada? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Sir, this is Taco Bell. <laughs> we all speak basic here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> why, do I, why do I see poor Duna yelling at this poor human guy at a Taco Bell in Sulliston? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This is a Wendy. <laughs> added the Solus D's dictionary that's four editions out of date to my inventory. Uh, uh, you found it at a used bookstore. It was cheap. It was in the discount rack. After showing it to one of the many people you're trying to talk to, they point to a, uh, a little blurb and a handwritten note in the back. You know, there are spelling errors everywhere. Not good book. Zero out of ten. <laughs> oh. Well, that's okay. I can fumble through. It's not that complicated. After a I couple can... of days on planet, you guys do eventually track down uh, the the brother of uh, yada yada back there from the from the, from Pax. And he basically has, like, a, a, a protocol droid with him that translates for you guys. Oh, thank God. <laughs> sure. Uh, we will be able to house the ship for a little while. Do you have a prospect here on planet, or do you have to go off planet to attempt to sell this vessel? Uh, we gotta go off planet. Uh, uh, he wishes to know why you have two ships at that point. I'm cheating on my wife. He looks at you like <laughs> wide eyed and. Uh, <laughs> of You're course, married? Of course, he says. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. He shakes your hand, Arden, and you know, thumbs up, and blah, blah, blah. he says to contact him when the other vessel arrives. Uh, all, right, all right, we will. Thank you. Thumbs up from you know, yabba yabba, yada yada's brother. Oh, gosh, hold on, let me get... Yabba yabba. Yabba that? yabba dub dub. Another day or so passes, and finally, the sultry, uh... Shistavenin pops into the solar system. Oh, hey! Is that the place? Uh, I think so. I have computers as it is. Alright, uh... In a minute, they're going to flag us down, I think. Yeah. Give me a perception check, both of you. Too difficulty. Woo! I've already got my perception right oh, here. Oh, Fortuna, you should send them a message to come here to these coordinates, and I just... Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, let me get out my data pad and... Uh... Oh, I don't know the Wi-Fi password. One advantage, one success, or two success technically with a triumph. Good thing you got I it. I imagine we'd be back at the we okay, can just I have... go back to the ship and send it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. One fail, two advantage. Uh, for my triumph. Uh, Chaba is way too busy, you know, patting himself on the back that you guys finally reached the solar system <laughs> and thinks he yeah. has an inside straight. All right, for my triumph, uh, I'll say that just as we pop out of hyperspace, uh, the email that Mortuna sent, thankfully, 
a day earlier reaches us because we came out of hyperspace. You notice blinking lights on the console behind Chaba. He can't see them because he's looking at you trying to <laughs> win this game of cards. His focus is not there. You're seeing the light like blink once, blink once, and then start alternating fast blink. Like It looks like there's two messages at once. No. Yeah. I think we got some messages there, Chaba. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a look here. Uh, I, I opened the messenger. You have to turn around to, to do that. Do you turn I around? turn around. And I, <laughs> I, I, you know. Blumbles, yeah. give me another perception check. Three difficulty. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's, I think. Yeah, three success and four threat. Um, as Shaba spins around, you know for a fact he's got nothing in his hand, and your seat breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't! <laughs> he just falls back. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shaba, uh, there, yeah, there, are two, <laughs> there are two messages right now. One is from Bortuna. It's one of his long rambly messages. You just look at the writings outside the table. Let's be honest. Yeah. But it all boils down to he's got the coordinates where you guys need to go. And the second message is from the Solist uh, um, air traffic control, basically. Uh, welcome to the system. Your your comm system doesn't seem to be working with uh, a voice audio channel. Uh, what can we do for you? Why are you in our system? Uh, okay. Apparently this thing doesn't have uh, intercom systems, or at least it doesn't have vocal communication systems. I'll send him back a message. To the, uh, to the, the currently more important one, uh, I send back, uh, we request landing clearance. Um, our, uh, we are here to meet individuals that have probably already arrived. Be sure to Tell them what ship they came in. If you're telling them, we're here to meet those two. Ah, they arrived in a YT twenty four hundred. I don't remember the call sign. Wow, such great friends. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say friends. I, I said we were here to meet people. I think, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Not it's that they're the... not our friends. It's just you know. <laughs> My point remains: you don't even know the name of the ship. That's. The, yeah. <laughs> You get a message back. Uh, we get a lot of traffic. YT twenty four hundreds, though uncommon, are not rare. Um, we had one come into the system a few days ago. Um, and they said that they were waiting on somebody. We presume that's you. Um, they landed at X coordinates. Uh, please proceed. Um, please don't uh, harass the locals or bring undue attention from the Empire. Roger that. Meanwhile, the location that, you know, they said they went to and the location that Bortuna gave you is fairly approximate, but not the same. Okay, I would probably program where they, where the, the land party or whatever, you know, the, the people from the planet said into the computer first and then I would open up Bortuna's message and uh, I would just wait for the ship to literally go there first and then enter the new coordinates. Give me a piloting space check, please. Too difficult. Okay. Uh, at least I'm better at this than I am at okay, astrogation. We hope. We hope indeed. You say too difficulty? Yes. Ah, oh, damn my back. <laughs> He's still yeah. on the floor. All right, bubbles. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Can't confirm. <laughs> nice. that That's. Uh, that's a lot. Hard. That's a many success and one threat. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the system shimmies quite a bit on re-entry. Like, more so than you anticipated. Uh, uh, Blumbles. Blumbles, you're slowly vibrating back out of the, uh, the <laughs> cockpit area. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to say, Blumbles, maybe you should find another chair. 
There's only yeah. like two here. <laughs> uh, just hang on to some. All right. Uh. You can feel your filling start to give way. <laughs> uh, as you uh, eventually break through the turbulence and uh, head to the landing site, you, you can see the your ship, the YT-2400, the Star Jammer, parked in another spot, like, n nearby. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely sure why Bortu and Avon gave me these coordinates. I could literally see the ship from here. Well, oh, you, well. you did put the coordinates in to go to said place, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you alright down there? You need a step back? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Ugh, it's a rough landing. What the hell even happened? Seat gave way, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably give this girl a once over when we get back from wherever we're going. Yeah, I hope someone's willing to buy it. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. No offense. Yeah, I mean, we could probably do it with a smaller one. Maybe we could trade it for a smaller ship. What do you think? Uh, maybe. Something light and fast. Hmm. Like a two seater fighter or something. Yeah, well, I don't know if that'd be a good idea for a lot. Wages, unless we could fit it inside of, um, you know, the other ship. Yeah, the, uh, what was it, the, uh, spell jammer? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Star jammer. Jammer Raider. <laughs> Star jammer. <laughs> Heartbreak. The Heartbreaker. Yeah, Heartbreaker. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we should probably get a move on over there. Oh, yeah. by the way, remember to bring those hot chocolate cups. Uh, I don't think that, there's probably not any in the other ship. Oh, yeah, good idea. And Bob's gonna pocket <laughs> all the hot chocolate pods that, are, that remain. Java, give me a perception check for difficulty. Uh oh. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That's uh, two success and four threat. Uh, as you spin the chair around, you once you see Blumbles, you know, getting up from the ground, getting all the uh, the hot chocolate pods, you realize that the hand he had for the last game would have absolutely tranced you. I mean, it was it was a beautiful inside flush. <laughs> wow. And as you attempt to get up from the chair, it again it breaks. <laughs> Do I fall on the floor too? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I see what you're talking about. I am looking. This thing didn't fly apart in hyperspace. Yeah. Really. But then again, they did just kind of put it together in like two days, right? Yeah. About that time. Hmm. <sighs> Let's get a move on before the thing collapses under our weight. Yeah. Maybe this should way have been called the flying the death trap. <laughs> we like to step out of the ship and I push like the little fucking key fob remote and it's like bleep bleep and then like one of the lights falls off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just falls out. It's hanging by like a cord. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just gotta open the loading ramp and it just falls onto the. No, no, the ship isn't in that terrible of a condition. <laughs> The running gag is you guys rolled four fucking threats each time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. What you didn't know is that these chairs weren't designed to spin. You've just been <laughs> yeah, weakening so. the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Spun them around and they just fell off because that's how far they spin down. <laughs> As you step out of the ship, you know, you see the YT. 2400, the, the, the Star Jammer. There's no Fortuna. There's no Arden. Looks like the ship is locked up tight. Hmm. Well, what do we do? We just wait here? Or... Uh, Bumbles looks up toward the cockpit and just goes, Hello! Hang on a second. I want to try something. Uh, how far up is the ship from... Uh, how far up is the cockpit from like range wise I guess um 
I'd probably say because you can go up the loading ramp to get in there, I'd probably say it's a little bit above your head height. All right, so short range probably? Yeah. All right. Uh, Blumbles is going to close his eyes, call upon the force, and he's going to use his sense power that I bought. <laughs> like... 20 minutes before the session started, so I forgot to spend XP, ah. but I bought it. <laughs> and uh, let me see uh, if I have to roll anything. I don't know if I have to roll a force die for it. I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because since all sentient, non sentient beings in short range, plus, if I want, since the emotional state of one living being in engaged range. <laughs> so let me roll that force die. If I get dark side, I just won't take it unless it's desperate. Oh, hey, light side. Where oh. are you two? Mm. Is John even back right now? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> you're going fishing. Well, you got... see, we found the guy a day ago. Yep. <laughs> Actually, you've, been, you've been here for a couple of days. Yeah. So. Yeah. We f it took us a couple days to find the guy. <laughs> Shouldn't have been that hard. Maybe you just delayed. You know, who knows? I wanted to sightsee. I had to go to the flea market to pick up the dictionary. You wanted to sightsee? I did. Roll me the chance cube. Pick your color of favor. <laughs> uh, which one of us? Or both of us? Just you, because you're the one that wanted to sightsee. All right. Uh, you know what? Red failed me last time, so red again. Are you serious? <laughs> oh. Only there was a yellow option. <laughs> For real. The flea market that you have found here is, is kind of sad. You're not sure if it's only if it's got good business on other days or not, but this one, there's like 50 stalls. Like 10 of them are occupied. Oh, one, of them is, one of them is selling like old, old, old Shistavane, uh Celestin Celestin <laughs> country albums. Hey! <laughs> I wonder if the ship has something that can play these. Mm, I should radio in. Hello? Mama Bird? This is Cheese Man. Over. I'm right behind you. <laughs> what? <laughs> You think I'm going to leave you to wander this area by yourself? You've been sneaking this whole time? No, you're just an idiot. Ah. Do we have anything on the ship that can play this? Chance no. Cubit. Chance Cubit. Chance Cubit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Maybe. favor, Bortuna? Oh. There's no way it lands on blue a third time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the odds. Uh, red. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you should have stopped halfway through. You're looking uh. at this thing, and you know for a fact that you saw a device that can play that on board earlier. Yeah, no, we definitely... How much for this? Oh, um, no, no, no. Uh. He holds up ten fingers. Ten credits. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so I'll... <laughs> he takes the ten credits, gives you a thumbs up, and waves you off. I just came out with a steal! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what's the name of this album? <laughs> uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can... I think I can get thank you right this time, Arden. No, <coughs> please don't. <clears throat> I had to cover his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you, Let's you, just go you see feel, if they're here. You feel pressure on your glove from Bortuna licking it. But <laughs> Luckily, you're gloved, so... <laughs> As you drag him back to the ship. I was going to say, it's just like while I'm covering his mouth, I just reach over with the other hand and close his nose, pinch his nose. <laughs> but... You're being dragged through this marketplace. <laughs> Let, let's 
Let's go back and see if they're here. As you get back to the ship, there's Lumbles staring up at the cockpit, like trying to wave at it a little bit. <laughs> I, I think Chaba's just like sitting underneath the uh, the sultry, just kind of looking at things, you know, making sure nothing fell out. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a mechanics check. Too difficulty. All right. Alright, uh, that's one success and th four advantage. Nice. All in all, it looks to be in relatively good shape, even considering the rough landing uh, process it came through. Um, there's no plating missing. There's no real huge scorch marks. Uh, it doesn't look like there was damage from anything from the actual re-entry process. Uh, it's entirely possible that just the inertial dampeners just had a bad time going through the atmosphere. Uh, well, all in all, she held together pretty well, at least on the exterior. I think the only thing we broke was the chairs. Oh, uh, that light. <laughs> Blumbles is deep in focus. Does he sense anything? <laughs> you can you can feel you know a couple presences coming you know basically from your left. You know, mm. trying to highlight them. They're they're like, God damn it, really? <laughs> they're like coming from this direction. Yeah. Uh, Lumbles would uh, open his eyes and look over there. <laughs> Just hand raised up in the air, opens eye. Oh. <laughs> oh, <Force hi>. summoning. <laughs> that uh, was good timing. Hey. Uh, how long were we? How long have you guys been here? Uh, two, three days. Yeah, that's not surprising. Well, did you find a buyer or a stower for this thing? Yeah, we we found them. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that was a good time. <laughs> uh, so, we gotta go. Scouting yeah. now. All right. Yeah, we'll take the ship over there. You need to resupply or anything? You know, now that I think about it, we should just take all the supplies from that ship and just put them on, put it on ours. Like all the yeah. rations and stuff. I don't see why not. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> well, I mean, won't that take a while though? Hmm. Won't that take a while, though? Eh, not too long. Not four. Not. It could take more than a standard hour. Three days later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just get, like, the bare essentials, I guess. Like some more food and all that. Probably about ten days worth. Should do us fine. Okay. It, it really wouldn't be that hard. Uh, you've got loader to help, really. So, you know, stack up a couple crates worth of food, haul it from ship to ship. I mean, <clears throat> look at the way I've placed the ships. They're relatively close. So, yeah. It doesn't take a whole long time. Not really. Nice. Maybe about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Standard hour. Yeah. And <laughs> then you seem to be loaded up pretty well. Uh, Yada uh, Yubba Yubba comes by. He uh, looks at the uh, the sultry and looks at you, Arden. And he nods and looks at you, Blumbles, and I don't know about the and points at the ship and holds his hand out. Uh, Blumbles looks at the ship, looks to him, looks to Chava, <laughs> and Blumbles gives him a high five or low five. <laughs> Just, he just kind of flexes his hand a little bit and like looks at you and shakes his head. <laughs> Blumble <laughs> shrugs. <laughs> he does the charade for like starting a car. Like a key. Oh. Uh, he looks to Chava. Key. <laughs> Where's the money? Is he buying the ship? You buying the ship? 
He's no. storing the ship. Oh, he's storing or, it? I think this is where we were storing it, though. I thought it was stored here. No, it's store. We're storing it over for over at his place for ah. later to be sold until we find a buyer, because we have oh. to go off planet. Shouldn't, the... shouldn't we uh, fix the seat or one of them before you know? Uh, I can do that while we're moving the supplies. All right. <laughs> uh, that 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 happened. That's past tense. Yeah, we did that well. Yeah, I mean, they, they screw on, so... Uh, screw God will toss the... <laughs> Just puts the seat on there and duct tapes Give me it. a mechanic... Yeah, do. Give me a mechanic check with two black die attached at two difficulty. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Yeah, I was about to say, check your sheet. What, what can you remove? One hey, setback. You only have one ranking for your head. Oops, I, I accidentally rolled my DC-17. Ooh. Uh, One success, two advantage. Nice. You get the uh, the pilot seat reattached. It is a bit duct taped and looks like there's some super glue in there somewhere. But, you know, it, it, it's a serviceable quick fix uh, as you are uh, having the ship's supplies transferred over. And then... Uh, you know, eventually you come out and y uh, Yubba Yubba comes up and this exchange happens. And He's still looking for the keys. Uh, I toss him the keys. He like takes him, looks at him, notices the fuzzy lucky rabbit's foot attached. And Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah, he, uh, looks at you hard and uh, nods and Heads on board the sultry. All right. All right. <laughs> on we go, I guess. Yep. We didn't have any contraband I'm... on there, did we? Did we? Did you get your hat? Uh, where am I hat? Oh. <laughs> I I need to get my eyes checked. I think something's like gone out of alignment whenever Blumble's landed on me. Could have been the car bomb too. Uh, you know what? That's true. There's been this weird ringing in my ears ever since then. It's never really gone away. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that whole force and falling thing on you. No, oh, it's okay. I understand. It must be really hard to use that stuff, you know? You got yeah. no one to teach you. There's no online guides or nothing. Yeah, I think typing in... Uh, how to use the force on the hollow net wouldn't bode well. I was in a private window. It's okay. What? <laughs> I can't track it if it's a private window. <laughs> oh, is the emperor is looking through everyone's browsing history. <laughs> Why the fuck would you look up Gamorian porn? <laughs> <laughs> you got the stormtrooper behind him going, Wait a minute, that was on incognito mode. You're not supposed to be able to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Should have used Nord VPN. <laughs> it gives you unlimited power. No, no. <laughs> had to. I had to. I had to. My Palpatine, he probably does. He probably did those kinds of commands, honestly. I could see him doing that. Could you imagine? That'd be great. And that is why I use Epsom's foot salts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Being emperor is tiring. And when I have time off, I like to relax with a cold cup of space Pepsi. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Crack open it. a cold one with your boys. <laughs> of course, it's a space Pepsi and not space Coke. <laughs> why, why do I just see like four stormtroopers looking very nervous in the background, holding up glasses? And I say nervous because they're slightly shaking. You know? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, good, good. <laughs> Let the sugar and carbonation flow through you. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't mix them with Mentos. 
<laughs> As you guys all pile on board the Star Jammer. Arden, give me a perception check too. Difficulty, please. We haven't been rolling enough. Rolling, 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 rolling. Excellent. Ooh. Perfect. You uh, sit down in the pilot seat and start getting everything fired up, and where do you go? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> continuing Who's on. Who's playing with the Archer. fucking dice again? I just touched him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm what did you do? What is that? I'm looking at Arden's area and all of a sudden I just see the dice pop up on the left side. <laughs> all I did was try to pick them. Bro, I can't even see them anymore. They've ascended. You, you gotta like oh, there we zoom go. all the way out and then move your mouse all the way up. And <laughs> oh. Grand slam. Well, they're not moving anymore. Oh, they're jittering. Don't, don't touch them. Don't touch them. He oh, touched no. up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're hanging out near John again. <laughs> Between John and, John and Cody could. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, continuing on our journey to... Uh, <laughs> Manfuck. <laughs> <Man fun. laughs> Why? Why? You didn't huh? touch him that time! What? What did I do? He's <laughs> fucking possessed dice! <laughs> what happens whenever you just blink <laughs> dice together? Oh, willy nilly! Oh. <laughs> and they're ascending again. <laughs> da, 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 Is this da, da, the force? Da, 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 da. Nope. Mikey, stop. Stop doing it. Stop playing with the dice. Nah, I just stopped him from ascending. <laughs> uh, what are they doing? Oh, that, um, they've congealed into one dice, and I'm not touching it now. Uh, they're gone. Rest in peace. Where'd they go? I deleted Wait, them. I could, it, oh. My focus was completely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> they had to be eliminated. That, that, that has been, like, so many sessions in the making. I cannot tell you how long it's been since I've done that. It has been <laughs> weeks. Yeah, but weeks. this is the first time you've mentioned it to any of us. <laughs> well, I was hoping it wasn't ever really going to come up because I didn't know how to fix it. <laughs> so, I was you're, like, so you're the type of employee that just kind of sweeps the broken thing under the desk and hope nobody finds it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least in this circumstance. <laughs> Continuing on uh, to Manfa. Heard. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. And not noticing whatever he could have noticed. So, Chubb is on board. Blumbles is on board. You two are up there again. That's kind of what I was starting to think of what the perception was when he started saying, all right, you're on board, you're on board. And then I thought you were going to say Arden was on board. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone except one. <laughs> no, no. I imagine it had something to do with the ship, but, uh. The other ship, but <clears throat> give me an astrogation check, please, sir. Uh, what difficulty? One. I'd say that your star charts and everything were updated while we coming to Sullis and being a fairly routed and populated planet. It's wow, that's big all. success, <laughs> and then one threat. You just feather the goddamn thing and you're there at Eridu? <laughs> nah, I, I would say that with that many successes, I would say that you shave off a good chunk of that time. What could potentially take, like, six hours in this vessel, through your course plotting and everything, cuts it down to two. It's very nice. fast for you. 
you're becoming an incredibly well hardened star pilot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hardened hard. The plan is uh, all coming together. <laughs> oh yeah. It's all coming together. As you get into Ariadu, uh, there's a average Imperial presence. There's a Star Destroyer, a few light cruisers as uh, support. You know, obviously, you know, TIE fighters running the area, yep. doing doing the normal duties and shit like that. And they hail you. Oh. Hail, comrade. <laughs> uh. Yes. Um. Unknown vessel. This is the Ariadu star system. Uh, you've come in, we presume, for uh, course correction? Yes. Uh, n- notably, with you outside the system as far as you are, uh, it normally means that. So, uh, po- course corrections. However, anyone entering the system is currently under inspection orders, so if you would be so kind to please deactivate your engines. We will have one of our cruisers come and do their inspections. Ooh. All right. Uh, thank you, pilot. We shall be there within the next twenty minutes. Out. Should I? Should I get in the turret? <laughs> he seems like Ow. a nice guy. <laughs> well, we know. We don't have anything to hide, do we? Do we? No, we don't. Are you sure Roos didn't do anything to the ship that would be illegal? No, everything's fine. Wait, what about the cannon? Look, there's nothing yeah. wrong with the cannon. But isn't it modified? No, dip it, dip Nothing's wrong with the cannon. Oh, don't you start speaking Sullustin to me! <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about with a modified cannon? There's no modified cannon. Fine. Yeah. So there's, a, there's nothing in yes the ship. No. Is that a yes or no of getting on the cannon? No. Okay. <laughs> we get in trouble. It's your head this time, not us. We didn't do it. Well, you think we're not going to because there's nothing to get in trouble for. Sure, sure. Definitely not the modified cannon. I I have some spice in the storeroom. Is that going to be a problem? What kind of spice? Paprika. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think they they only care about nutmeg now. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'll pack any of that nasty stuff. Is is that what they're calling death sticks these days? What are you talking about? Hmm. He just looks up Mortuna. Hmm. I can't. He just goes. <laughs> I'm gonna come. Drugs. What? what? <laughs> I, I can't kind of believe like... that he has drugs. Well, we'll start like... making some hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, he's doing it on the ship! <laughs> you're, hearing, you're hearing the thing... Mm. ...from the other room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's got death sticks! Beep. Beep. He does? Beep. He's flatlining! I can hear it! Okay, okay I gotta get him. <laughs> what was this? He gets the cup of hot chocolate. Hmm. Yeah, if only we had some. Do we have milk on here? Uh, we got blue milk. Yeah, uh, that'll do. What? What? It's not a death stick. He just looks at more tuna. So it's hmm. a death sticks. Why do yeah. I see you like opening up your little coat and there's like a whole line of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. Welcome. You want to buy some death sticks? What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> I got death sticks, death sticks, death sticks. <laughs> stick of dynamite. This here turkey stick I found in the street. The hot dogs. A cancer stick. <laughs> I got some pixie sticks too. <laughs> and uh, a Solston dictionary for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sticking it to the man. <laughs> uh, Blumbles looks at Portuna again. 
Was, uh, you don't look like you've had any death sticks. I was making sure. Usually, uh, you got the beans around the eyes, you know? As this conversation's going in the other room, Arden, um, you see two TIE fighters start coming into, you know, visual range. Wow. Man, flying a TIE fighter must suck. You don't yeah. know this. You're in the other room. There ain't no windows over there. <laughs> that one was out of character. <laughs> Is this like flying a Stuka in World War II with the freaking air raid siren going off constantly? Oh, man. <laughs> Those are driving nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't tell you is that TIE fighter pilots are deaf because of flying the TIE fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would imagine. As the the TIE fighters fly by, um, is do you do anything, Arden? Uh, no. Why would I? <laughs> because you're the pilot, and I'm asking questions. Because I'm seeing what we're doing. Okay. No, I'm huh. just, I'm just sitting here waiting for them to do their scan, and when we have the clear, I'm gonna go. Uh, Pretty we are sure. We're all abiding citizens at the moment. <laughs> uh, the TIE fighters don't break formation. They're just basically flying next to each other in fairly close proximity. They, you know, buzz the ship a couple of times, but they stay close. But they don't fly away. Um, after a couple more minutes, a, uh, one of the light cruiser classes, uh, you've encountered them before, um, uh, pops out of hyperspace. It was a short jump from, you know, in system and everything. Uh, and it comes over and starts running its own inspection. And they radio you. Um, pilot of the Star Jamma vessel. Um, yes. Uh, we are going to be needing to do a on-vehicle inspection. Um, and please prepare for a transfer of personnel. Okay. <laughs> they uh, get into position to uh, link up. I... <laughs> uh, did you not expect this? Hey, no, uh, I, I did, but... Uh, uh, hey, uh, Arden! Arden! I'm like right in your ear. Arden! Yes? Are, are we fugitives? Technically, because we were like in jail that one time. Like, aren't we probably on a wanted list somewhere? Before the tension peaks anymore, I'll be back. I'm just a Jawa, man. Just don't do anything. We're yeah. all fugitives. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna go hide in the refresher. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Wait, where is the refresher on this thing? Back of the ship. <laughs> Why do I picture <laughs> Fortuna like stopping in the the middle cantina area? He's like. Where's the refresher? <laughs> Try to just point and over there. Uh, the ship engages with the airlock that is now, you know, just over the uh, the cargo lift. Ah. The doors, you know, lock, and you can tell that the uh, link is now pressurized. You open up the door for them, Arden. Yes door opens. In come about five stormtroopers. Correct. Do you greet them? Do you just let them run around the ship? Just let them do their thing. Let them gallivant as they do. Uh, you two are sitting in the galley area and uh, just the door to the cargo area opens up and in come five stormtroopers. Java, like, well, are we aware that we're supposed to be boarded? I mean, it's probably implied, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Chava's just in your column, dude. Chava's just like drawing a picture of a furry like, on the on like a piece of paper. Like it's yeah. just Honestly I'm surprised it's just not the wall at this point. It's like Jawai. Honestly, that yeah. <laughs> Fortunately no, he knows Arden will get angry if he does that. So he's drawing it on a piece of paper. I'm back. What are you up to? Five stormtroopers just rolled in from the cargo area. Ooh. All right. Uh, what's Chaba doing? He's drawing <laughs> on a piece of paper on the table. 
I guess uh, Blumbles will just like take a seat right here. Just uh, sip his hot chocolate and watch. Got his bowcaster over his shoulder like usual. Lightsaber firmly in place. Uh, three of the stormtroopers break off, heading towards the ring section. So the the, the, the center area. The other two kind of look at you real quick. One of them kind of <laughs> does a quick inspection of the two of you, like looking at your various accoutrements, how heavily armored you are and everything like that. And he's just looking at the bowcaster and it's like, don't try anything funny. Thumbs up. <laughs> he's got a thumb! <laughs> 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 Um, That's... <laughs> he stands there keeping an eye on you two at the entrance to the cargo area. The last stormtrooper uh, comes down the hall to you, Arden. Running normal inspection. Uh, three of my guys are currently checking the back of the vessel. Uh, they'll come through, inspect the forward cabins, the galley, your escape pods, etc. you have anything right. that you want to claim before we find it? Do what? Do you have anything you want to claim before we find it? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think there's anything on the ship. If We're you, just if, passing through. If you could see, he's like squinting his eyes underneath the helmet. You know, uh, I this, just hold on my... Mm-hmm. Nope, they're honestly, we're just passing through. There's nothing but the passengers and our supplies on the ship for the ship. It's all that should be on here. <laughs> the inspection takes maybe about 15 minutes. They're going room to room and everything. Uh, Bortuno, one of the stormtroopers, does pop in to the bathroom. Occupied! Come on, man! <laughs> Are you trying to flush something down the system, sir? Uh, yeah, my crap! <laughs> you wanna look? <laughs> he just stares at you and then just closes the door. <laughs> Please knock! <laughs> opens the door, I understood that. Closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I thought all oh, fucking stormtroopers were xenophobes. I didn't know they would know that language. <laughs> what better way to understand when you're being cursed at? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the three stormtroopers make you know from room to room to room to room. They they go through the way um, as they make their way through the whole circuit. The one stormtrooper that's with you, Arden, goes. Uh, because this vessel only has one escape pod. Uh, yeah, the other one, uh, got replaced. With what? Uh, extra power for the engines. Well, you're telling the truth, so, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to ha <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to interpret this as the stormtrooper, and it's just, he's just sitting there going, Hmm. I need a truth check. Two <laughs> different Basically, and it's just like it had, pro had power. Uh, had problems with the power supply. Yeah. It can happen on these older vessels. All right. Everything seems to be in order. We will uh, disembark here. Uh, once we leave, you are free to fire up your engines after five minutes, and then go about your way. All right, thank you. Stormtroopers, you know, go through the uh, the cargo hold and back out, and the little signal light uh, tells you that they're ready to disconnect, Arden. So, all right, you <laughs> close the door. Yeah, they disengage, and the ship. I heard a toilet. That was <laughs> Fortuna. 
<laughs> There's more tuna. <laughs> the ship pulls away and heads back towards the main part of the, the system. And, you know, another quick hyper jump and it's away. The oh. TIE fighters are still kind of buzzing around, but after about four minutes, after the other ship has uh, disconnected from you and departed, they, uh, they as well head towards the inner part of the system. Oh, well, that went smoothly. I think. After another minute goes by, I fire up the engines and then prepare to set our horse. Give me another astrogation check, please. One as well. Actually, make it two. Just keep that and rolls. Yeah, there you go. Please, Lord. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Please, Lord. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the course, I I'm presuming you're following the, the green line here? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the next point on that line. Uh. Is the Naha. Is the Naha. Is dinner here? I, I mean, that looks like the, clo the next closest drop on that yeah. route, so... Um, considering the distance and everything like that, it's going to take you four days to get there. Oh, it takes a while and we look like Rob Zobie in the Dragula. <laughs> you know, uh, Bumbles makes pressure. his way. <laughs> Bumbles makes his way up to the cockpit with Arden as he's putting in the plot and the course and everything. He's like, I don't know about you, Arden. That went a little too smoothly for me. Uh, if you think you they may have planted some trackers? If you and Chaba want to go through and look, you can. Yeah, we need to but give her a once over. Bruce told me he's, you know, done Imperial checks and the ship has passed. Well, what I mean is they may be suspicious why we're out here. And not to be. Uh. I can't think of the word. We look like a group of rebels, you know what I mean? They may have pinned us for something, I don't know. So they may have put trackers, so in that, in that, uh, with that in mind, I'll get Chava to help look around. By all means. Chava. Hmm. We're gonna look around for trackers. I don't believe they just left quietly. Alright. We'll wait for that though. Oh, I moved Fortuna by accident. No, no. no! Stop <laughs> using that without my permission. The last time you used that on me, you dropped me on my face and almost broke one of my ribs. Oops. And then you sat on me. I really don't understand that one. <laughs> I did not consent. I'm right. surprised yeah. I didn't hurt as much as he did. Blumbles. <laughs> yes. Are you actually looking? yourself or are you having a chaba look uh i figured we were both looking separately yeah we'll both look separately is it just the two of you is bortuna helping <clears throat> oh yeah you betcha what am i helping with <laughs> uh blumbles let's say we're gonna scan uh, around equipment but we're gonna scan around with our eyes see if we can find any trackers oh Never yeah with imperials I mean, I know that guy wanted to put one in the bathroom. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to have you each roll a mechanics check. Okay. Chaba, Chaba you're going to go with two. Bortuna, you're going to go with three. Bumbles, you're going to go with two. Just okay. a second. How do I roll negative skill? get this all nice and organized here. Wow. Two success. A triumph, three success, and a threat. Two nice. fails and one advantage. Okay. Hang on. Alright. Bortuna, what'd you get? Two fails and one advantage. Bumble. Two successes from me. Chaba. A triumph, three success, and a threat. Okay. Bortuna. 
Uh-huh. And you find what looks like a tracker underneath one of the chairs in your room. Oh my gosh! Gosh! Wumbles, you find nothing on your search. Okay. Jabba, mm-hmm. what does your triumph do with this? Okay, I have two options in my head. One, I find a thermal detonator that Roos left behind. Or two, I find a can of liquid Schwartz that we can use to speed up the hyperdrive. <laughs> We're going to go with no and no. Ah, oh, Lame. <laughs> uh, fuck. Anybody got any ideas? Hmm. You find a two million cred stick. (laughs) You know, the thermal detonator sounding better. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Honestly, I can't think of anything at the moment. Unless you just find a tracker with it. (laughs) Like it was hidden under the sink or something. No, nah, no. Nah. Fortuna found the tracker. Remember? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I find a grenade that Bruce left behind. Like a or standard a grenade? Uh, what's as big as I can go without being thermal detonator size? A grenade. I mean... Then I find that uh, maybe like a cluster of grenades left under the sink. I like three. <laughs> that fine? Three? Does that sound too many? I would say that underneath one of the beds, like in the actual frame, not in the frame kind of thing, it's not like our bed set up and everything like that, but, you know, in some of the components underneath one of the bed areas, you actually find the deconstructed parts of a set of about three grenades, purposefully stripped apart in order to hide them from inspections. Fine with me. <laughs> Fortuna, you found a tracker underneath the chair. One of the chairs. Guys! The I'm, like, sp- sprinting around the ship through the corridors. Guys, 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 I found, I found a tracker. Oh, yeah. that was fast. Look at this. Jabba, give me a mechanics yeah. check. Too difficulty. Uh, one success and four advantage. Nice. It doesn't look like a tracker to you. It looks more like a hollow pad, a hollow disc. Does this hollow disc look familiar to me? No. Similar. Okay. Not the same. Hey, uh, let me. Hey, you know, hang on to that for a second. I walk over and I turn it on. You do what? You I walk out. over, and I turn it on. Uh, up cues. And this time it's Rancor documentary. Only the spicy oh. parts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! This is far worse than a tracker. <laughs> well, fascinating. I didn't know that. It... Out of the leg. Apparently. <laughs> That's not a leg. Oh. <laughs> 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 I think I'm gonna have some questions for Roos next time we see him. Well, where was it discovered is the better question. <laughs> I mean, it was the same room where the Gamorrean porn was found way back <laughs> in the day. If we ever run into the pilot of this old vessel, I'm really gonna have some questions. Seriously. What even happened to that guy? I don't know. We should find him after all this is over. Did what? Give him back his ship? Offer him a hearty handshake and a thank you? <laughs> the nah. other ship. Give, him, give him the other ship. Here's a trade. <laughs> we feel bad for stealing your ship, but we're not going to give it back because, you know, it's, like it's it. ours now. <laughs> so here's this other one. <laughs> wait, wait. I got an elaborate scheme. We will set up a sweepstakes to win a used vessel and he just so happened to win. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> How did he enter? 
Uh, it was tied in with the cereal sweepstakes that he entered when he was a child. Yeah! <laughs> they sold that information to a company, which sold the information to another company, which sold the information to another company. Long story short, <laughs> he's now 50 million credits in debt, but he has a used vessel. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you. And <laughs> yep. And as the ship hurtles through hyperspace, the Rancor documentary, in quotation marks, uh, is still playing as the end credits roll. And that is where we will end it for the evening. Woo! Because it is almost 11 o'clock. Oh, it is. <laughs> See, I told you guys, it'd be fun. What did I say? <laughs> the one time. The one time nobody panicked is the one time everything went okay. This just goes to show that every time we get around Imperials, I should just draw furries. Nothing <laughs> bad happens when I draw furries. <laughs> just don't look at them. <laughs> and you won't be tempted to shoot them. True. Oh, man. <laughs> The most, the most of a, well, the closest thing to a battle we had here was a clash of cultures. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Celeste will never be the same after you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's just terrible. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I thought my vocal recreations of their language was, you know, kind of, well, just to be blunt about it, kind of racist for their species. <laughs> and all of a sudden, freaking Bortuna busts out with a skiddly bop bop do bop bop. It's just... <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> they're no longer called Celeste, they're called Scat Bandoos. <laughs> Questions, thoughts, opinions. That was fun. You guys got pistols and Chaba got some grenades, so no XP. Woo! <laughs> 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 Material no, Speaking of that, I need, we need to... I was going to see about Chaba trying to see if we can fix that. <laughs> fix oh, pistols? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that can be arranged. I uh, may be able to actually recharge them by leeching power from the ship's reactor. Give me Probably. a mechanics check. Three difficulty, sir. Probably not the best idea to leech power from the reactor while we're in hyperspace. Power no. is power. Then again, I don't know if we're actually in hyperspace. Yeah, you is. Yeah, we, we are. There's like a four-day okay. lag time here, so... Yeah. Uh, success, one threat. Three success. No threat. Ooh. You sure? It looks like there's three. Oh, yeah, sorry. That big yellow one, for some reason, just completely blocked out of my vision. Uh, I see three explosions, uh, three uh, wings, and three Imperials. Yep. Yep. Three, three, and three. Success. Three yeah. success. You successfully make a connection between you know power sources on the ship to the DC-17s and you recharge the power packs. Now, you Ooh. realize that the power packs are replaceable. They're like clips, almost. But finding them at this point in time... Yeah, not, not, not super tricky, not, but it's just you have to find them. Yeah. But you have successfully recharged the DC-17s with no issues. So there's not, I'm not even in implementing a rule on them that, you know, on a despair, they blow up or some shit like that. You you have a just flat success. Radical. So you each I, have a DC-17. Except for Blumble, so two not to take one. <laughs> what is going on over here? I'm trying my best to post <laughs> my message that I've typed, but it keeps turning invisible. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> They're all missing now. What is going on? Oh no. Whoa. Yeah, why is that going on? What's uh, missing? My El Shorto message is back now. <laughs> <laughs> no!
No, my message. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, hold on, wait. I can. Where's my Alt Z? Okay, instant replay, save. Okay. I just want to have to retype this crap. Okay, let me open up a Google Docs page. No, no, no. Actually, let me open up Notepad. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's fine, I'll save it for next session. <laughs>